What up, G? Hey, like, y'all was real fresh. I seen you in your pockets, man. Clean. Shout out to you if you still blowing real zah. Da da that other shit. So I've been seeing people talk about this shit. This shit gets so boring and dumb to me. Dude. Rich the Factor is the king of Kansas City. RJ made the right fucking statement, nigga. I seen C-Dub talking about this shit or whatever. You can get Tech on there and he can say what he wants. But I can give y'all the facts. I can give y'all the facts. I travel. We're going to have some people pop in on here from Topeka, from Wichita, from, from, from everywhere that'll tell you who did what. You know what I'm saying? I went out and sold slap the trash of CDs. Y'all seen me do that shit. When I was out of town, no one ever asked me about Tech Nine. Nicks told me about Tech. I remember one year I was on a traveling hiatus, and everywhere I went, Tech was doing a sold out show. He sold out shows in 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 everywhere and did some. Amazing things. But if we're talking about Kansas City, who's who's done the most, who has the title of being the, the musical king or, you know, the king of Kansas City type shit, it definitely goes to Rich the Factor. I don't even think... Uh, did Tech come with a word that we use to this day? He is the only motherfucker to shout out. Shoot out to Cali and come back to the town. My shit on Undot DJs. Yeah, you on there. That pussy got power as our uh about club edition. But uh I, I, I just sit back and look at this, and I'll be like, damn. You know, big bro never speak. He don't give a fuck. <coughs> <coughs> Tech Nine will speak on it because he's still looking for it. He had a song called Breaking Into Colored Houses. Because he felt like when he was about to sign DV, that he was about to actually get the support of Kansas City that he's been thriving for for all the, the longest time. What's that intro song I was playing? Oh, that's my nigga Big Yola, man. The song ain't out or anything of that nature. That's just F. DJ music. And no one put together a record code in the city like Rich. Uh, MFR ain't shit as far as the record code. The record code itself that they don't want to see strange music about shit. About shit. I've seen people talking about tech never put on a Kansas City artist. Have y'all lost y'all fucking mind, dude? That was the dumbest statement. 
Tech got a lot of fight fans that made him who he is. Tech made it to where he is because that nigga was an entertainer. They used to compare Tech Nine to Michael Jackson as far as stage presence performance. Y'all know how I am with Tech Nine, Aaron. You know what I mean? And y'all know how I am with Rich. And so, if I'm giving Tech props over Rich, you know this shit's really than the real. You know what I'm saying? I'm an actual nigga that went through the seasons with these niggas and shit. So, somebody gets C Dub. I should have tagged C Dub's dumb ass. Like, you rocking with this nigga acting like he is the king of Kansas City. And Rich the Factor is clearly the king of Kansas City. We can take it all the way back year for year, album for album. <coughs> <coughs> Until Tech Nine was like 35, 36 years old, album for album, he never seen Tech. I mean, he didn't see Rich, and Rich had already had a 15 year run in music. Tech started at the same time as Rich, but never had a run in music like Rich the Factor had a run in music. Dog. Do y'all not understand music history and shit? Like, what do y'all go by? The fact that he sold out a couple of arenas and shit? Is that what made y'all go, oh, he's the king of Kansas City or some shit? Because I thought it was by, you know, album sales. By the doors you open, you know, by the respect of the individual blocks. What up, KB? I don't like the way he dropped five seven. I ain't got nothing to do with their politics. You know, music break groups up all the time, so that ain't nothing new. I just, you know. 5'7 wasn't willing to do what Tech 9 was doing. Tech 9 ran around the world with devil worshiping looking shit. And he got the fans of all the people who like kill themselves type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like <coughs> he built a he built a, a, a coalition. Tech got more motherfucking people with tattoos of him than Rich Defactor fans, probably. You know what I'm saying? But Rich opened the door. They know Tech International. That's why people feel like uh, the Tech is the most, uh, the king of Kansas City. Because they look at him as the most successful artist to come up out of here. But I never looked, I never like, I never looked at him as a king because he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, represent what I represented out of Kansas City. It could represent another part of Kansas City that was obviously big. You feel me? Shit like we ain't gonna play it. Hold nothing. Tech 9 the biggest independent underground artist in American music history. That nigga's only competition is like Master P type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like so I mean Tech is in another Galaxy, as far as fans, uh, uh, streams, album sales, all of that. But does that really count to Kansas City? Did that help Kansas City? Did that open a door for another Kansas City artist? Not at all. Not at all. Did he open doors for hella Kansas City artists? Hell yeah. Y'all sound stupid as fuck when they talk about he never put nobody on from Kansas City. <laughs> I'm like, shit, well, where the fuck is JL from? Where was Slim? I mean, uh, Snug and Scatter and, and Scoop and... Where are these dudes from, man? Where is Chris from? Like, y'all crazy as fuck. His whole team was Kansas City, bro. He got, he started hiring and, and, and getting other artists at the age of like 40.
And if my little nigga Davy wouldn't have fucked it up, he would have been with D. Davy would have been strange music. <laughs> Davy wouldn't have went to jail. He was strange music. Bro, shout out to Tech. Y'all tripping. Tech got KC 100%. <coughs> New Orleans, like. <coughs> nah, I ain't going for that New Orleans shit, nigga. That's just because y'all got that jiggy music, that, that 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 song, that Planet Rock shit is over 20 years old, bro. Nobody even fucking fuck with that or knew it was from Kansas City when it, at that time. Tech did a lot for KC. I'm from Cali, but I stay in Topeka. Tech did nothing for Kansas City. He put Kansas City artists on, but that didn't do anything for Kansas City. He doesn't have a representation of Kansas City. And that's why he's always been mad. Like I said, he made a song called Breaking Into Colored People's House because he's never gotten our respect. Like y'all just said on here, he got nothing but white people fans. He got he got devil worshiping, gothic, you know what I'm saying? People who like fast lyrical music type shit, them is his fans. We in the hood never bumped that nigga. I think he got his first CD got bumped in the hood. That's why he was something to us when he came out with uh, uh, Mitch May. Mitch May set the standard for tech. But then his follow-up, which would that blew it, when he had a chance, the nigga came with, I'm a slacker. We was like, bro, if you would have just said Gritter, you would have had the whole town support. But you wanted Lee Summit, Blue Springs, and Raytown support. So he said, I'm a slacker. <coughs> <coughs> Which was probably a Travis call. You know what I'm saying? It was probably a an above thing that was like, man, you got to come with a word. And relates to everyone that they could feel, black, white. You know, he was facing politics all his life. I think he got with QD3, the, uh, you know what I'm saying? They already told you Quincy Jones was a, uh, was a booty toucher, you know what I mean? So and it ain't no telling what Tech had to go through doing it the way he did it. Now, what we got over here is Rich the Factor, who we truly, solely respect out of Kansas City because... We seen that nigga in the streets. We seen him selling his CD, his tape. You know what I'm saying? We seen, we 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 felt his struggle when his brother died, and then the music came out. You know, I've seen people on here talking about, oh, I was the first one to rap about that. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna speak on it. You know, but yeah. So it was. It, we we seen the the the, the progression and enriched the factor and the bossism and the BMF and shit and all that shit. With Tech, we seen nothing but a struggling artist. Seen a nigga, seen that nigga checking the nigga selling his ringtones. Nigga Rich was running up on all the bootleg niggas, fucking them niggas up. Him, Scourge, uh, Gotchas, and all that. When the family was strong and shit, went too hard, and all them nigga Tommy and all they, they was running around. They was too tough, nigga. Shit, that was too much of. That was too many of them, boy. You had to deal with Rich, Rush, Tommy, too high. Couple of other ignorant ass niggas from the north, boy. It was just a monster ass group. I remember doing that big ass. I mean, it was just. I remember seeing Rich the Factor as a kid, bro, just sitting there in front of Chemical, in front of the uh, the Lexus, like with the with the gold with the white gold chain with P on that motherfucker hanging that boy, like, like damn. I never seen Tech Nine. If I did see Tech Nine, I seen him in a regular position. Like I don't want to be shit like you. Like, did nobody ever in Kansas City be like, I want to be like Tech 9 when I grow up? But the whole fucking city said I want to be Rich the Factor. Hell, you got 35-year-old men right now still talking about I want to be Rich the Factor. <laughs> F.A., you feel me? Like, nigga, this ain't no guy. Did nobody want to be that dude? 
Like, when we talk about Kansas City shit, like, that's what I was like. When they dissed that nigga RJ in, the, in, that, in, that, in, that, in that interview, I was like, nigga, fuck. No, I wish I'd have been there. I'm like, nigga, fuck. What the fuck you giggling for, you non-town ass nigga? Hold on. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But during the same time of the run of when music was being made between Rich the Factor and Tech Nine, y'all tell me who was the who's the king around this motherfucker? Like, duh. Like y'all all act crazy, they'd be like, no, nah, Tech Nine the biggest artist. Nah, bro. Rich the Factor is the biggest artist out of Kansas City history, bro. Nobody gives a fuck if that nigga Tech Nine sells out in London and, and Paris and and fucking England and Australia, Africa, Vegas. He sells out everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gives a fuck about that. Because that shit meant nothing to Kansas City. That did nothing for us. Meanwhile, while Rich the Factor was underground doing his thing, he paved the road to where I can go from Kansas City to Omaha and get love. Tech Nine did not make a road for us. There is no road where people go, oh, you're from the city where Tech Nine from. We fuck with you. They be like, bro, you got. When I was selling my slap of the trash, it, uh, y'all seen me sell slap of the trash at 10,000 copies. I had at least a thousand people ask me about Rich the Factor. A thousand people in different cities and everything. Not a thousand in each one. But a thousand people all together asking me about Rich. Like if I'm selling them the CD, I'd be like, hey, the CD a dollar, man. It's got all the Kansas City niggas on it. We slapping hard in the motherfucker. They'd be like, do you have Rich the Factor? And I'd be like, do you see the hat? The whale on this motherfucker represents the mafia, nigga. And they'd be like, no shit, you with Rich? I'd be like, fuck yes, nigga. Well, Mafia 10th Street. Get this CD. You know what I'm saying? And they'd be like, hell yeah. And I'm talking all ages, dog, from motherfuckers that were, and this was, what, three years ago, some niggas that were like 19 to niggas that were 40. Asked me about Rich the Factor, Rondo, and Bird. In the local Midwest area, if I go out, if I go to Joplin, if I go to Columbia, if I go to Iowa, if I go to uh, Oklahoma City, to Tulsa, if I go to Wichita, if I uh, go to Colorado, if I go to Minnesota, if I go to uh, Detroit, if I go to Chicago, if I go to uh, St. Louis, if I go to Houston, if I go to Dallas, they all said Rich the Factor. Some people said Fat Tom to them. If they were older, they'd be like, man, I remember that Fat Tom. Because, like, when I say you leave a dent in this motherfucker, Fat Tom fucked us up for life. I'll never forget being down in Dallas and uh, I played my music for a nigga. And they was like, oh, yeah, man, that shit whole. You know what I'm saying? And then the nigga said, he from Kansas City. And the dude said, oh, you from Killer City? And I was like, I tried to back out. Like, nah. Because me and my bro, we was plotting on robbing cuz. But anyway, we, we I tried to back out. Like, nah, I ain't from Killer City. Bro. That's kill, nah, but you know what I'm saying? They was just like, oh. He heard the rap and was like, oh, man, so you really was telling the truth in your raps and stuff. I was like. Like, man, it fucked me up. It fucked me up. And I went so many other places where they'd be like, dude, you from Killer City. And they'd damn near back up, get the clutching, and being like, I mean, they'd be like, why y'all just be killing people down there like that? I'd be like, shit. Like, and then the, the way some people had told me how I was thinking, they was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, I'm from Killer City. You know, like, damn, it don't be like that out here. I'm like, I thought it was rough in Houston or something. They'd be like, I like that, my nigga. Like, uh, like, man, you get killed fucking with, you know, people folk or something, you know what I'm saying? Doing doing some old foul ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Some whole ass shit, that shit'll get you killed, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, damn. 
Y'all don't just be tripping, huh? Man, it's fucking crazy, bro. We be tripping, nigga. Kansas City be tripping. And uh, Fat Tone put that to the whole fucking world, baby. Everywhere knew about Killer City. They might not have knew about Kansas City, but they knew about Killer City. So when it come to like really putting, putting on for the city, giving giving Kansas City something. Tech Nine ain't did shit. He ain't did shit. <laughs> there ain't no extra white presence in this motherfucker or nothing, bro. You sh like, you a ca where's the cat? Where's the cat? Where's the cat? No hate, no no shade, no nothing, nigga. Where's the cat? Even he know that. If I got tech on here right now, man, that nigga, I'd be like, bro, what did you do for the town? He'd be like, I gave this artist this artist. I'd be like, fuck that artist, nigga. What did you do for Kansas City? Because Rich the Factor got niggas in Omaha saying Kansas City words. Gee, a motherfucker in Omaha know what we talking about with Jeffin. Suck ales. Like the word sucker is from Rich the Factor. You know what I'm like? <laughs> what the fuck did Tech Nine do, man? I'll wait if anybody got some. Fat Tone did more. Fat Tone didn't do shit besides make the whole entire nation scared of us. I'm the one that told the story about Fat Tone. He gave the official story with my nigga Dre, his cousin, when we grew up together. I watched Fat Tom get a silver tooth. I, <laughs> I know this nigga. I got all right to say whatever I feel. You feel me? Niggas no take more than rich, bro, in the South. That's a fucking lie. That's a lie everywhere I go. Well, maybe in the deep in the South, it might be like that. I can give you that. I'll take that back. I'll give, I'll give you that. But what's the South when you got the Midwest? Rich the Factor is the Midwest. He's with BMF. He with the biggest. He's with BMF, man. We're not even gonna talk about that shit no more, bro. He just with <laughs> Big Meech gave this motherfucker a shout out, bro. Like, stop the fuck cat, like. <laughs> what is Tim Street nigga from Kansas City got a shout out? <laughs> That nigga Jeezy, before Jeezy came out, remember he had a Kansas City hat on? Do you understand the reason why them boys was rocking that motherfucking hat? Do you know why he had that hat? And if you go back and listen to the very first Jeezy, all he do is sound like Rich the Factor. BMF, tied in. I've been listening to music and really being involved with shit. Like all my all my life, you know what I'm saying? The numbers do lie. The numbers don't make you a king then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Tech Nine has opened no door for Kansas City. He probably has opened many doors for many different artists out of Kansas City. That doesn't help our city. Our whole city is a open door path golden street. From Rich the Factor. You'd be like, nah, bro, I got a song with Rich the Factor. They'd be like, hell yeah. You'd be like, I got a song with Tech Nine. They'd be like, so what? <laughs> you get a song with Tech Nine and you do a song with Rich the Factor. And depending on how you market it, you see what it do. Because in the Midwest, that rich the factor versus golden. That fucker is golden. That tech nine verse. Mm -hmm. Tech is KC. Tech is from Kansas City. Every time they'll be arguing about you know, Kansas City artists or something like that. Everybody that would be from out of town always usually say Tech Nine. Like, Who y'all got? Who y'all got? Ooh, Tech Nine. Oh, yeah. If you talk to a white person, they do not know Rich the Factor. 
And you talk to a hood nigga, they do not know who Tech Nine is. <laughs> like, I ain't never heard of him. Hey, what, what, what he, even the people on here who's repping for Tech Nine don't even know Tech's new song. They couldn't tell you none of Tech's new songs to save your life. <laughs> All you niggas jeffing with Tech, I bet you couldn't even tell me what Tech Nine's last album was, bro. <laughs> and everybody on here would be like, boy, I know about that NFT Rich. I know about that Blackfish Rich. <laughs> uh, and that shit funny. Tech has less albums out than Rich, but Tech is past him in numbers wise. If I'm capping, prove me wrong. Niggas are gonna have to hit Google for this shit. <sighs> Niggas in Dallas don't know. Ah, oh, you done lost your mind. They fuck the Triple D. Fuck with Dallas hard. North Dallas, South Dallas, West Dallas, Big Chief. Bro, that was that. Big Chief fuck with Rich the Factory. Pittsburgh Filthy made that happen, dog. Big Chief and fucking Eat Greedy still the niggas in Dallas, bro. My nigga Money Man Randall's the nigga in Dallas, bro. <laughs> And I don't bring the triple D in there, bro. I'm too tied in in Dallas, bro. I'm talking about from barbershops to motherfucking car washes, nigga. <laughs> I'm fucking in there with the with them Dallas niggas, man. The funky town niggas, man. The Mo Cliff niggas, all that. We in there. Rich the factor run Dallas, bro. Over Tech Nine. That's that's in, in the ghetto where the black folk are. Lil Wayne fucks with Tech Nine. I know Lil Wayne said while he was in jail, the only nigga I really want to meet on earth is Tech Nine. I'm like, damn, Tech, fuck. That nigga, Lil Wayne said the only person I want to meet in this world is the Kansas City blood nigga, Tech Nine. Uh. That was that right there. Nigga, <coughs> 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 I heard K Stylus in Miami. <coughs> Rich ain't gonna get played in the club. I bet you won't hear K Stylus in the street over Rich. I bet they play Rich in the streets in Dallas, nigga. That's where y'all got like fucked up at. K Stylus gets played everywhere. K Stylus, that nigga, he the king of twerk. Y'all got to quit playing. We got to quit acting like his name. If you really want to get technical, K. Styles got them all beat. Because I done went hella places and heard motherfucking K. Styles, dog. I'll be like, droppity drop that booty. Droppity drop that twerk so I'll be like, oh my God, fucking out of town. Yeah. Man, he be in Japan and all that shit too, bro. Like, so... I mean, what do y'all, like I said, man, I go by who opened the doors, who left a mark in Kansas City. There is no mark, there is no doors from strange music, period. The whole fucking camp. Nobody has opened a door, did anything for Kansas City. Like, Rich the Factor. That's what we're comparing these people to. Rich the Factor, who truly opened doors Who made a he he paved a golden road for us out of town. A golden road out of this motherfucker. A golden road, dude. He gave you words. He put niggas he he shouted out neighborhoods, bro. He put a lot of people, man. 
I could I could never give it to Tay. I don't give a fuck about your success. I'm going off of what you've done for the town. Only for the streets, technically, ain't nobody made made it like that. Why Kansas City doesn't have no Yo Gotti putting people in y'all position? That's a good one. I've always been mad at Rich the Factor for not being the Yo Gotti of Kansas City. But then I just understand the game and, 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 and understand the lane that Big Bro made. You know what I'm saying? So he likes shit. He ain't never put nobody on. And then when he did put niggas on, you know, shit just... You know, record labels and companies and everybody fall out and shit. Niggas ain't got time to be falling out. We take this shit serious, you feel me? Like, that shit... That shit heavy, man. And then why? When you fucking with BMF, nigga, fuck you. Fuck, fuck fucking with other people, bro. You in something big, you know what I'm saying? This shit wasn't fake. I mean, he had though, only motivated niggas to move a path. But now nah, battles, when I go out of town, when I was selling slap in the trashy CDs, the only name I was ever asked about was Rich the Factor. <coughs> when I was sitting in front of gas stations, Talking to hundreds of people a day. It was like Rich the Factor. Oh, that's Rich the Factor. Yeah, I, I know about Kansas City, Rich the Factor. You know how everybody likes to agree and say they know that one artist got that one black friend, one white friend. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's, it's Rich the Factor. Now, when I get to bigger, if I get out of the Midwest, say I go down to Florida, yeah. If I'm talking to a nigga from, from uh, just, you know, on some tourism shit and I'm on South Beach, they're going to say Tech 9 They're going to be like, oh, yeah, I know about Tech 9 And be like, yeah, that's what's up. But I'd be like, what you know about him? Oh, I just know he's from Kansas City. He made a couple of songs I don't really know about. I just know about him, like. You know what I'm saying? You ask a motherfucker what you know about Rich, he be like, hell yeah, man, I've been rocking this shit since pole position and shit, you know what I'm saying? What you know about Rich, and nigga give you Rich privilege. Like, what the fuck? I'm like, damn, out of town, y'all rocking like that? And pull up, slapping Rich, like, I'm out of town. In, in, in the Midwest, it's definitely still Rich the Factor. Everywhere I go, I'm still hearing Rich, like, damn. Pull up in Oklahoma, they still slapping Rich and two times and shit. I said, that's some, that's some hard ass shit. Oh, gee, still getting slapped. I don't even know if Tech Nine make music anymore. I was just asking y'all what was his latest CD and y'all uh, latest album. Y'all didn't even have an answer for that motherfucker. I knew he had a song, uh, <coughs> Yeah, he gonna get the big opportunities and all that shit, but we don't know nothing about it. The latest Fast and Furious movie, it was, it was kind of on TikTok for a little hot second. And look who answers the question, a white man. <laughs> Point proven. <laughs> hey, like I said. <coughs> Tech has a song. He, the proof is in his music. Nigga has a song called Breaking in the Colored People's House. You know what I'm saying? They up on the town. Right. If you say the town, where do you get that from? Like, if you call Kansas City the town, where do you get that from? And that's what I'm saying, dude. How are you going to even put Tech and Rich in the same category, cuz? This nigga Tech did nothing. There's no lent. There's nothing. There's no history. He got one song. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't 30 or better, you don't even know that motherfucker. But that shit, dog. Listen. Rich 
runs this still. You call it the town because who? Where did you get that from? Why do you call Kansas City the town? Just like I was telling the story of being called Killer City. Why is why is Kansas City called the town? Where did you get that from? And you talking about what? <laughs> Who's the king of this motherfucker? <laughs> no, I mean that's all the way around the globe, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we there, there is no tech nine lingo. There's there's nothing. You know what I mean? What'd you say for the streets? What you talking about? What is not making sense? Rich told me I got too much politics and politicals on my he said, I got too much politics and politicians on my page. <laughs> he started popping his peas on me. <laughs> I started dying laughing when Rich was like, <coughs> it's too political, man. <laughs> you got too many politicians on your page. <laughs> hey, I was in the studio dying laughing like, man, I don't understand, big bro. And they just sat back, smiled, and handed me a blunt. Like, yeah, bro. <laughs> and take me like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Then he then, then he go back and talk to his peoples. And they be like, yeah, don't you fuck with Will, boy. You know he a monster. <laughs> oh, shit. See the Where your ass at? Send me the invite, nigga. You over here. Jeffing with tech, nigga. It's Rich over here, my Don Block representative. Yeah, I'm running with that. You over here with tech. I don't give a fuck about them tell. Look at this nigga. I want to make this point proven to everybody real quick, man, so we can get off this shit. Like I said, why do y'all call Kansas City the town? Why everybody get quiet when I say these things? Mike Battles, where'd you go, buddy? Where'd you niggas go? Why y'all call Kansas City the town, man? Boy, it's quiet in the comments. Add me. Send me the inbox. Let's see. Okay, I like to argue. Oh, I got them both. Ugh. Ugh. Unable to add guests. Battles is hating. Click out and come back in. Hey, what's this? Oh, that's the thing for the comments. Okay. I like this shit. He get to argue with quite a few niggas. <laughs> First off, I want to say fuck Mike Battles because he didn't get his kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me my little pussy cat, man. My daughter won't pick. Down. No. I tried. Hey. Bro. Right. Let's Why go. Why you be on tech so Big hard, Rich bro? over here. Why you hold on. so hard? Yeah, bro. Like, hold on. We Listen. all Rich the Factor fans, but 40, it was a bro. simple question. It was I'm a... 40, bro. When we was going to high summer nights, all niggas was playing was tech. That's it. Niggas was on the block listening to Rich the Factor, bro. So we then was what the tech right. the, then what the fuck night, was bro. that comment even for? You talking about you niggas that was in the club like, or in the little because hot summer night. You credit that man you for partying. being in the street. We bro. were on the block gritting, listening. We were first yeah. the West, when we oh. were first going to Westport, nigga, when Tech hopped out the van with the face paint with the Chiefs had shit, the, the thing on his head, bro. Niggas fucked with Tech, bro. Nah, that's when he lost us. It's, nah, that's, it, just when, that's he, when you knew he was different. You when, knew he was whenever, different he whenever he said something, six, 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 whenever he painted his face, it was completely over with us. Man, 57 Re Street Road, Dog Villains, that's it. They, they was hard. A lot of they us just did. Our error. Listen, a lot, I'm from the North End, the East End. We didn't even understand the Road Dog thing. To you tell you the goddamn 
You listen to Y'all gotta party. remember. Y'all all were talking about old shit. You listen and let's talk about old shit. Old the South was about. not motherfucking collaborating with the North in no form of fashion. You know what I'm talking about? The North talked about the South. The South talked about the North. And everybody stayed away from the East. Back then, the Crips didn't hang with the Bloods neither, nigga. Right. Everything was separate. Exactly. So and there was no bloods in Kansas City. There was the, back then. That was a weak limit level of bloods. Then it was a crazy. Hey, but Will, can I, I let me ask you the question? I, I don't know if you answered the question. Who is the biggest rap artist to come out of Kansas City, Missouri? Which the factor? Only in the streets. Only in the I'm streets. I'm talking about. Hold on, Will. Will do you understand that, my question? That, that, I'm talking about, I'm talking about nationwide, street. worldwide. Who is Good the brother. biggest rap artist? To come out of Kansas City, but Big Bro, that's where that's where Rich even put the street versus commercial shit. Yeah, he did. As far he as did. The streets, as far as the streets, Rich got the streets. On Rich lock. got the streets. As as that's the not street, what we're talking about, though. You know, we can we can. Some people want a mom and pop store as an entrepreneur. If some people want a mom and pop store. Some niggas <laughs> want to be Macy's. So 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 you can't. Who is can't this? Them, Who is this man? Who is this dude? You he can't talking. He talking. I want some money. I don't give a fuck if the streets don't like me. I want some money. I want my kids to be well out for years to come down the line. Rich got the streets. He got the streets. He got them. Hey, hey, when I left Ellsworth Penitentiary, Rich was in there eating noodles too. And Tech was somewhere <laughs> eating filet mignon and some shit. And, and lobster tail somewhere on the island in another country, bro. Like that's that's where that's where they want to be, bro. The streets ain't fuck the streets. What they gonna do? Get you killed? I understand that, but I'm saying when I say who's the biggest artist out of me, if you're asking me, I'm not going by who made it the furthest or something. He's look, the biggest artist to us street it, niggas. So that's just like Ten saying nine is the, the biggest biggest artist out of Kansas, Kansas City, City bro. bro. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Hey, I don't think you. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand this, Will. We all think you understand this. We're leaving out like we're leaving out our personal preference when we're saying this. No, this I'll like, listen to, listen. I listen to. I listen to Risk Factor more than Tech. Listen, Tech Nine is the biggest independent artist in American music history. I have no, I've okay. said it over and over. There's no. There's no comparison into him to anyone. But okay. I'm talking about. What Kansas City? If we gonna keep this Kansas City shit, niggas keep wanting to rep this town shit. Yeah. Like, where the fuck, did you get the word town from? That nigga yeah. Nine has done nothing for Kansas City. Open no doors. Rich the Factor made a goddamn gold paid road for us. Out no, of he didn't. No, he didn't. The fuck he no, did? He didn't. I made ten thousand dollars off this shit. You can't tell me. I believe you. That nigga made me want to go get an eight ball and get on the block <laughs> and, and, and get to a brick. That's all he did for me. Hey, swag, the, hey, swagger roids. Swagger roids in our way, boy. That motherfucker got me through it. Man, I'm the talking about the doors. That even, this this the fact there's no rapper niggas ain't even going to go get that shit mixed and mastered. And the then y'all sit there and argue about the fact that motherfuckers. In the Kansas City music is through can is through Rich the Factor. When you go in the Midwest, they be like, "Oh, do you have Rich on your fucking album?" I did this on live. I showed this. I sold ten thousand CDs out of town, a thousand in Tulsa, a thousand in Iowa, and every one of these cities and states sitting in front of these fucking Will. people. They Will. Ask me about Rich Will. Well, hey, if, if you a, had a I tech a song, I feature, you would have been on Billboard. I understand. Oh, that. I was gonna say that you can do a song with Rich the Factor, put it on YouTube. A song with Tech Nine, put it on YouTube. You you're gonna, gonna, be gonna be have on. way more views with Tech Nine. Hey, you was gonna be on because Billboard, you're gonna, a you're gonna a, hit a different level, bro. Bro, you can That's have those. Level people, in the game. But you gonna get more street respect from niggas with actual money that can help you and put you in a position. And do all that. What we talking nigga, quit about. like it's just some fucking music, nigga. The streets don't pay my bills, bro. I, I want to go on bills. I mean, in that sense, but there's more. Know. There's more people that the streets pay their bills than anything else. Tech not a millionaire. 
I understand that. I, 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 believe, I believe Rich is a millionaire. The man. I, the man I, I, hold on. I think Rich solo. got. I, re, I respect Rich. I love. I understand. Y'all just talking about success in 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 the in the. Y'all talking. Got so many, he got too many. But that success in the industry has done nothing for us. Like I said, y'all still ain't answer my question. Why do y'all call Kansas City the town? <laughs> That's, that's cool. Man, fuck all that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he make you look yeah, cool. Fuck they that. Call it yeah. That's cool. That's the cool. Man, that we we the... we rich rich the factor is one of the coolest human beings walking. So of course we adapted to his lingo and all that. He he he's more for us than I don't know, like he's a better I rather niggas looked up to Rich more than they looked up to tech, like I don't know, bro. It's crazy. But the question was, I'm talking about a nigga who got successful at the age of 40. That was 40 years of depression. Who? Tech Nine. So you think Tech Nine was bigger what? than the factor in selfie until they was 40? Huh? Come on, put put your what? fucking hey, will, will, like will, 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 will. Oh, hey, bro, bro, hey, bro. You answer this question for me too. Who had a bigger album drop in Kansas City than Angelic? That was in 2001. Who had a bigger drop in Kansas City? I don't even know about it. I think I was in jail. <laughs> oh, stop <laughs> working. This the nigga wheel. Wheel is funny. Man, I'm, oh, a hey, I already, I'm, I'm tackling the nigga when I see him. He playing. You was in jail in 01? <laughs> you was in jail in 01? If he was in jail, I know what I give it to him. Nigga, I was if in jail from until I was twenty to twenty-five. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, dude. Funny, All right. Bro. All right, man. He had the so he had the where was it? What was it? I don't even know what y'all talking about. At all. I like, respect he had the bro, biggest bro. album release in Kansas City history, bro. It's just that streets versus commercial. <laughs> I, we, like we you said, man, it's streets versus commercial, man. Streets versus like, commercial. All right, man. That's, All that, right, that's man. the only thing I can see Will talking about, man. But it, I, he got an album drop. He had one thing going. Rich still had like 10, 15 albums. Nigga running through shit. We didn't know the name of the album. <laughs> what is Tech Nine's album? Name an album after Angelic. I'm lost. Absolute power? Never heard of it. <laughs> And that might be the one he dissed me on, on my dead homies. Hey. Blood. I was playing Madden. I was the little nigga. I was playing Madden. Tech Nine was on Madden. Nigga, the whole world played Madden. Nigga, Tech Nine was on motherfucking Madden when I was a kid. You said it earlier, Lil Wayne. And I'm going to put it on. Tech Nine was his favorite rapper. Tech Nine. Lil Wayne said Tech Nine was his favorite rapper, bro. I'm really from the hood. We used to rob niggas that listen to Tech Nine. <laughs> this this does not this does not do anything for the fact that he's the biggest artist that ever came out the city. I don't care what you're talking about. You listen to Tech Nine. He is the biggest artist, but he never did anything for Kansas City. Look, they just inboxed me. It was Madden 2003, and you said he became successful at 40. Like, what are you talking? What? What was that whole run back in the early 2000s? That was success to me. That go was success. Hell, you can go listen to his music as he complained about how he got fucked out of a deal, lost his money. Okay, okay. This, 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 this. This is making like, real crazy, man. Yeah, but we don't talk about he ain't listen to him. We don't talk about he ain't listen to the shit back then. He talking about shit from absolute power, but he said he don't know what I'm talking about. Nigga, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I know the nigga be making money. <laughs> <laughs> his, first, his first thing he came oh, out with, he oh, did. No, why am I first talking thing. to the nigga that ran down on deck? <laughs> he, no, bro, the you the nigga who ran down, 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 down on deck? No, you the nigga that you ran down on deck? Are you the nigga that ran down on deck? Are you that nigga? I don't even know I'm talking so to listen. you. I don't know why I'm talking to you. <laughs> no. He came out with stay away from me. He was hating on the town. He was crying because he could never get no play. He was like, I'm about to blow up. Stay away from me. That's when he yeah. finally started getting some money that he yeah. could keep. 
pocket, nigga. Yeah. Rich the Factor was already an umpteen millionaire. If we go hey, somebody <laughs> just inboxed me said I can't argue with no crip niggas. Y'all ain't never gonna get uh, Texas for us. <laughs> Damn, man. They said I can't argue with the crips, man. All right, man. Y'all don't make no All sense, right. bro, because y'all not giving, y'all gonna act like. Y'all going to come on, man. That nigga wasn't hot, and he wasn't selling. He wasn't even, he was in between contracts. He was crying about oh, beauty, oh. Crying about job. He was crying about a lot of shit. That's why they like his music, because it's suicidal relatable. They like Rod Wade. It's suicidal committable. He got more they people. Rod Wade know he's tired of making people commit suicide shit. They just sold out. Oh, shit. Over Roger Troutman was on Angelic, bro. That nigga's a legend, bro. <laughs> that nigga's a legend, bro. Man, God you gotta, damn. You got you to gotta, you gotta give that man his credit, man. He can't see me, man. When I, when I go no, this is the thing we will They say the Chiefs take nine and y'all eat watermelon. I ain't say. <laughs> that's it. That's it. The Chiefs take nine and watermelon. They don't say nothing else about nothing else. You got to literally go to Dallas and go in Oak Cliff. Who wants to go there? If I'm gonna go to Oak Cliff, I might. Well, I'd rather get killed on 18th and Vine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here at the discounts right now. You see the background? I'm just yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey my, my whole right. thing is, bro, you don't gotta slander tech. tech. You don't have to slander tech. tech. It's part of slander against tech, bro. All I said is he ain't never opened the door. For you said he wasn't hot. You said he wasn't hot. I never said he wasn't hot. I just said he the biggest independent fucking artist. Man, are we on the same line, bro? Are we on the same? You just man, said he wasn't. What that. doors did Rich open up? Because the man ain't did nothing but made some slow, slower words. Nah, he opened all That's doors it. for out of town. When you go to Oklahoma and you be like, I got, I got Rich, I know Rich, all that shit, they be like, all right, here's the VIP. Them for niggas in Oklahoma slow. <laughs> nigga, go to I'll go to Oklahoma. I'll go to Oklahoma. I'll go to Oklahoma. Fuck, you can say what you want about them if they slow or whatever. Farmers got more money than all them other people, so you need to really figure out where that yeah. brand at. But, uh, yeah. anyway, yeah, I'm about, see, that, that I can go through the Midwest with it and say, I would reach the factor tags. When yeah. they asked me, what, when I was selling my CD, and they're selling the Slap It or Trash It album, and I said, this is a representation of Kansas City. No one asked me about tech. They asked me about Rich the Factor. They said, is Rich the Factor on it? I wanted it. And I was like, what's up with me? they like, no. You know him? Yes, let's go. Now I done doubled up on my CD shit. <laughs> so that's why I give Rich the props. Plus, like I said, that y'all don't want to answer the question, why do we call KC the town? We already said that. The man, man said they don't every that man said like, oh. 42 CDs. KC is the town. <laughs> we know that came from Rich. No, I want everybody on these. Out of, this, out, my shit's big. There's thousands of people watching this shit from out of town and everything. So we going to. Yeah. Because here in Kansas City, we don't rock with Tech Nine. I fuck with what Tech you, Nine. I can't what see does that mean? What do you, I'm a, what do you I'm mean a, we don't rock with Tech Nine? In the 90s. We fuck with Tech Nine. I fuck with Tech Nine, Lee Joe, all the niggas, man. That we used to go to High Summer Nights, man. That motherfucker, they was jamming there. The club went crazy when you played that 57 Street Road Dog villain shit in the, the club, dog. It's in his music. Tech Nine has a song called Breaking he, Colored People's Houses. Niggas do it all the time. Niggas do it all the time. It's a message in the song for sure because it came from Tech. It's a message in there. Now, you just saying the title of it. I don't know what the song. I ain't heard the song. Tech ever saying... sell out the T-Mobile Center? He can. He can? He did, yeah. he can. And you he put four it. other artists on it? He can sell out this. You can sell it out? Yeah. Hey, let me take. Uh, let, let's go back to this one. When Rich first got out of debt, Bart, they, they had to exactly. put Tech on that show. That was a Lil Wayne concert, wasn't it? Then they put Rich on the, on there to open up and put Tech on. They had to put Tech on there to sell out the, the stadium or, or Lil Wayne wasn't even going to come. That's when I first got out the joint, like in 2014, 2015. They had to put Tech on there to sell the show out. That was a Lil Wayne concert. 
Then they let Rich come out there with his baggy sweatpants and his 5X T-shirt and stand there and do whatever. Don't I mumble the words to his own song, bro. Come on, I love the nigga to death, though. The man is the man is just. I don't, I don't even know what to call it. He's an artist. He's not an entertainer. He's he's a project, nigga. He's the definition of a street project. Yeah, and they open up no doors for nobody, man. He just he made some cool. Like, he made because he got that slow slurred voice. He made the words he said sound he cool. Is, I love him for that. Made a million dollars, bro. Man, made me want to get a sixteenth and get to a zip. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Man, I never made me want to go, like get a, go get a zip and get to that nine. I never. I, I rather be. Yep, I rather be. I. I rather be Pablo. You know, if you want to keep putting it on on scales and shit, I rather be Pablo than any of these niggas. You know what Tech I mean? Nine, Tech nine I put is it on an eight ball scale. Tech nine, nine is Pablo. Nigga. Tech you know nine is Pablo. Pablo. I'm just saying because y'all like to use tech as a big thing. Use big shit when we talking about work, nigga. You know what Man, I'm saying? Pablo. <laughs> I'm just saying, like y'all. I'm 40. I, don't, I gotta go to work in the morning. Like the <laughs> I, don't, I don't live like that no more. Y'all gotta watch. You know what I'm saying? Man, stop playing, dog. Like, and I love Rich the Factor, man. I, I love, love Rich the man, Factor, but I just, I'm not. We gonna, all do. But like, on I, those, I only, I'm only standing on Rich. I'm only if standing on what I'm saying because I've been out of town and Tech didn't open no door for me. Rich opened doors. Fat Tone opened doors for me. If you went, if you went to some major shit, to where it really counts, and you said Tech Nine was your partner, I guarantee you a door will open for you way bigger than a Rich the Factor door. You bet. You bet. The, the Rich the Factor door is gonna say, "Oh boy, yeah, you come get these pounds from me. <laughs> you come get these pounds from me." Tech Nine door gonna open up for, for generational wealth, bro. He ain't. It's, it's two different. It's two different levels. That the scale is gonna tip that door, tech, bro. Open for us or anyone? Yeah, Rich never opened it either. Isn't it fucking strange, Hopefully. nigga? They can. It can. Nigga, them people big. They big, bro. Yeah, Tech is. He's big, but his 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 he's not open no doors. Hey, they got a where they got they got a warehouse out there out the way that's bigger than the whole 18 combined. I know about it. What's up, bro? I know. I'm just saying that's a different door open, bro. I don't want these same little ass doors open. I understand. If, if you want, if, take when he says stay away from me. When he says stay away from me. He said you get your drugs and your guns and get this shit away. I'm trying to get these millions right now. I'm trying to get some millions right now. I'm talking about I'm for people who trying to do music. They rappers. We ain't even talking about all that. You Rich know? ain't open no doors for that. Rich opened the doors for you if you're rapping. If you go out of town and you say Rich in hey. your song, they go, oh, shit. If you well, in, in Tech Nine's, in tech oh, nine's words, they some slackers. Because <laughs> they slacking in this music shit around here. Are you from Kansas? <laughs> I'm from Kansas, that's history, right, uh, North Side. Yeah, I, 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 I explained yeah, right. everything. See, y'all probably like that song, but Kansas City, M.O., we were devastated when he came out with Slacker, Slackers. We wanted to slap him. We were like, <laughs> what the fuck? This is how you got us looking? This is bullshit. I remember every street nigga in the city was devastated. We were like, we will never like your ass for this shit. Hold on, because he dropped a song your kids can sing? Nigga. <laughs> Are you really mad because he dropped a song your kids can sing? I understand your music aspect of looking at it as a grown man now. But as a no, kid, no, 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 no. We, no man, this is about guys. impact, man. This is about he impact. was on fire. Like, nigga, don't call me no slack. Like, if you go out of town and the nigga be like, you're a slacker, you be like, yeah. Bro, I don't know. <laughs> it's Killer City, nigga. You'll go crazy, bro. Like, get the <laughs> We was on it's fire still, about that. Hey, real funny. <laughs> real people, real niggas love me. They be like, that's the real right there, goddamn it. <laughs> no. That fucking slacker. Don't call me. Just because no you don't know, nah, bro. Just because you don't got no filter. Cool just because you just, don't got no filter. That was when he lost us, lost us. I'm a slacker. 
I was like, oh, hell no. What are you trying to do? Be like Eminem or some shit? What the fuck just happened? You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm talking about we was. The, this the nigga Will is crazy. Bro, he's crazy. I'm from Missouri. Man, it's crazy. You stay on you know, 90, you stay on 63rd, nigga. I know Aaron Yates and everything, bro. So when the shit came out, it was like, <laughs> hey, like he and, the, and the nigga, out. and the nigga, a multi millionaire, and I hop out the car and walk around this motherfucker by himself, and ain't nobody gonna touch him. Ain't nobody gonna touch him. I didn't think him at a lot of places, boy, by himself. And he Me too. Out. I had no reason. Ain't nobody mad at Tech Nine. Yeah, yeah he, he did well. Well, uh, ain't no reason. A lot of niggas can't he do that. He did well, man. He did if, well, if he man. Left him on the TV with a black guy the whole town, man. Who, did that? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck did that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> he beat no ass, nigga. You can't put your hands on tech, nah. You can punch rich, but you can't punch tech. Punch I don't think you can even. I don't think you can touch rich. You can't touch rich either. <laughs> You can't touch Rich. Nobody fuck with that man. Nah, Rich. Yeah. I, 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 I was running the motherfucker. They be like, I rolled up to the gas station on the green. I see the oh, Maybach sitting parked in the parking lot. You punch Tech Nine. We lot. feel like we need to Rich in the Maybach. We the know, know we don't have to see the park in the morning. Rich don't handle that. MFR going to do that. We yeah. now we got we got we got to step up for strange music. We all we can't touch. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my niggas in strange though, man. You know I fuck with Ray Vaughn. I fuck with Tay. Them is all my niggas, man. They on here laughing like a motherfucker, probably. They probably sitting at John's upper deck on the motherfucking rooftop, sipping on some drinks, laughing like a motherfucker. Hey, bro, at the end of the day, bro, we got two of the dopest artists in the history of music. You know what I'm saying? And they, they write from dope. Kansas City. So, I mean, I ain't really too, I ain't too focused on what you're saying. Well, I just feel like you be putting a little, you, you be, you don't give them enough credit. Like, hold on, dog, don't. But I don't Tech <laughs> Nine his credit. Oh no, bro! You tell <laughs> that's where that's. Nah, where I'm gonna tell y'all when y'all didn't. When y'all said the Mount Rushmore of Kansas City, all 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 said, Tech Nine, huh? He, he, if y'all said the, the the Mount the music Mount Rushmore of Kansas City don't include Tech Nine, bro, y'all was dead ass wrong for that. Yeah, it was wrong for that. They oh, was wrong, yeah, for that. wrong for We're that. We're not wrong for that because Rich, Rich, Rich and Tech is definitely Tech on there. Never supported Tech Nine. Who? We in the inner city of Kansas City, Missouri, never supported Tech Nine. When you was he hanging with the DJs, they did. Support. You when you, rap when, when niggas, you hang with some the of you DJs, rap niggas did. on here who have rap aspirations and shit, y'all weird asses might have did it. But <laughs> the real <laughs> streets, we never. You fucking slacker ass niggas. The, y'all, when we was y'all y'all born in them, hey, when we was in Chemicals, when you seen Rich on there with that feet chain on there, <laughs> they was playing Tech Nine in Chemicals. I wasn't getting in the club. You older than me. I wasn't getting in the club. I'm white t-shirt gang, man. We the thugs, nigga. We just uh, you was bad. <laughs> uh, you see, you were one of them bad kids. That's yeah. why you just want to listen to Richard Factor all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For real. For real, man. You couldn't crazy. That t-shirt. They'd be like, nah, you all y'all, y'all, all six of y'all. Nah, y'all ain't coming. <laughs> the white t-shirt gang came from Kansas. I said it in the beginning. I said, while I was sitting in the parking lot, Seeing Rich and I'd be like, who? Yeah. yeah. They was in there playing Tech Nine though. Yeah, I bet it. I bet they back then. Playing Tech Nine. I bet yeah, then. Before before fuck DJs came out. Because Tech Nine <laughs> couldn't get played until 2018 in Kansas City. That's not the truth. That's not what? He was on the radio every day. This nigga Will is I, yeah, we all know what you're talking like about. He was on the, I was a kid recording his stuff on my tape from the radio. That's what he I'm saying. Like, you after like Charleston White after right he now, got bro. off his cute, what is it, cute <laughs> free or whatever, one of those one of those things that fucked him up and unsigned him and did all that shit and he fell off. Yeah. We didn't hear him. You couldn't hear him in the club. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? You might hear uh, uh, the old song from 57 with the Road Dogs. I haven't heard a Tech Nine single in so long, except what was that new one that he, I think he had E40 on there or something? That, that's about as good as I've heard it. He had that song with The Rock. That was his Crazy. that was his last big the song with like the Rock. Like right now, Tech Nine's Tech Nine's last top song right now does not get played in Kansas City clubs. 
Facts. 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 <laughs> that don't make it but right. That, that, that don't make it right. Rock. But that, that don't make it right. Rock. That don't make it right. I'm just the telling first time you. they played a Rich Factor song in the club was when he came home from the joint. They ain't never played a Rich Factor club. That was the club. I never heard of it. They play that hey, one song. Hey, Mama, how you doing? I see. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wendy Williams. Yeah. Wendy Williams. Okay, Wendy Williams. Yeah, Wendy Williams. They play, that, yeah. that was the first time he almost got commercial. <laughs> that was after singing 79 along. CDs. Why Jayla just start singing along? How you doing? Oh, you know that one. Hey, hey everybody know that 79 one. 79 CDs, though. Huh? <laughs> that was after 79 CDs. That was after 100 CDs. Nigga, bitch, don't came up. Well. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, though, but bro, is that like he just the but every every, is gonna love every one of those hundred CDs he made a hundred thousand dollars. Easy. I won't, I won't deny it. I won't deny. Easy. I won't deny. He he tricked a lot of people putting that same shit on there. He had the game and gone with. It. You got I got ten <laughs> CDs with five of the same songs on there, different albums. <laughs> he, he did his shit now. He did it. He was definitely the nigga when it came to that hustling shit. He ain't open no doors though. Neither one of them was really open the door to say, "Hey man, he I got doors. this young Kansas, I got this young Kansas City artist that's open up and door. coming, and let me use my platform to take them there." When you he did do that, that. Aspect, and I've always been on Rich's head about that. Like, did. damn, big bro, pass the fucking torch, say something, do something. I never did. Him and my little up. partner got a whole CD together. He never promoted the CD at all. <laughs> Promo. Never promo the CD at all. He so he don't know nothing, but that be some bro. other white bitch doing that shit. That ain't him. He ain't touching the computer. <laughs> Man, he ain't. He barely, he barely know how to make a drop on Instagram. Like that's my nigga, bro. bro. Just ain't the niggas didn't open no doors for nobody. He just had some cool ass lingo grandpa, that bro. everybody from Kansas City to ran with. Tech nine are grandpas. We're talking about grandpas right now. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's for. I'm a dad. They're grandpas. I don't give a fuck if Rich drop a new hot CD right now. Niggas is bumping it. I'm slapping yeah. it. Yeah. Niggas is bumping he it. He just sent me a song. Niggas is bumping it. Yeah. Yeah. But still, he supposed to. Now, he supposed to be. He supposed to be in like the Yo Gotti of Kansas City. He supposed to be putting niggas on. Why? He never got to Yo Gotti status, though. Why y'all keep comparing? Uh that's what I'm saying. Why y'all want to keep saying it? You keep saying it. Why y'all want to compare bro. Rich and Yo Gotti instead of Tech Nine and Yo Gotti? That's what I'm saying. That's why y'all gotta get Rich his props. Y'all want I'm, Rich? I, I, I'm agreeing with you. Both of yeah. them niggas ain't did shit for the for, for nothing. Yeah. They ain't open no doors. For Rich open doors though. Who they are? Say that because no, I am. He just said some cool ass words that made you want to hustle like a motherfucker, bro. And he gave us words to you to this day. He gave us a lingo. He gave us a, a lingo. He gave us a, a presence. And that's everywhere in, in the fucking hemisphere, bro. They respect us because of Rich the Factor. They don't yeah, respect us. ain't got us nothing like, but a bad name, bro. Who? That's the bad killer city. No, that fat tone did that. Yeah. Rich the Factor cleared it up with some hustle music. <laughs> Tech nine, hey, nothing. That shit is terrible. Terrible. Tech Nine did nothing. He Tech did Nine like let everybody know about KCMO. The he whole did. world know about KCMO. More people know from Rich the Factor than Tech Nine. They just know Tech, that Tech Nine. Tech, Tech Nine. Tech don't even rep KCMO. His fucking first song got on after all those years of problem was "Stay Away from Me." He was talking about Kansas City and Kansas City artists. Who stop the madness? Stop it, the madness, bro. The evidence is in the yeah. music. Yeah, whenever you what? You can't you can't talk to these niggas, bro. These niggas is delusional, bro. No, Will is crazy, man. He lost his mom. You rap Will is crazy. Cause y'all looked up to him instead of being like me, who was damn near a peer, who'd be like, this nigga a clown, cuz. I didn't look up to none of them niggas. I looked up to the nigga that was on the block with the bag. I looked up. <laughs> hey, hey, Dewan said he was talking about you, Will. <laughs> he was telling you to stay away. Like he wasn't talking to Kansas City. He was talking to niggas like you. <laughs> hey, talking to everybody. Yeah. 
Bad. No, he's not just talking to you, nigga. We the nigga didn't want to He was mad. <laughs> <laughs> Will confused himself. The king of Kansas City and the king of the strip club. He said, I'm not shaking your hand. I'm not you fuck you. That don't make no sense. Everything. That don't make no sense. And Will ain't even open no doors for nobody. You the king of Kansas City. You said it, nigga. I, 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 that's funny. That's funny. Hey. Hell, I got C dub. Hey, listen, I got C dub with a millionaire. So y'all can do it. I got C dub. It's fucked up while he laughing. I got C dub with a millionaire. He opened that door for you, C dub. I okay. I, no, hey, bro, one day I'm gonna tell you the whole story and I'm gonna tell That's you why we know it's not wrong. Never have heard of you. You would never one day. Would have never talked or anything if it wasn't for me. I'm gonna tell bro. <laughs> bro, no. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna inbox you the whole story, bro, because he lying. I'm gonna inbox you the whole story. I'm gonna inbox it. <laughs> bro, I'm gonna inbox it to you, bro. I'm gonna inbox it to you. Just like the other man that's in here, uh, MVP. You know what I'm saying? I put him on with a millionaire. Will your platform? Was is was very beneficial to all of us. My little brother, brother was no my little to, brother got work. signed I, I, to rap a lot. I would, I would, off but my I my platform. Got to work. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, ain't gonna talk about me. It's big dog status over here. Now stop hating on Tech, man. I don't want to hear none of that shit. No more. Oklahoma, Iowa, and everybody is rocking with Kansas City music more than they ever have because of me. Stop because talking about Tech, though, man. I'm tired of this, man. <laughs> when I say I'm king, I got a reason to say that shit. Strip Club King, the girls gave me that name. <laughs> I got I'm talking about that. Hey, he was in there throwing all that money he made off the block listening to Rich. Hey, Black. check it out. I never threw any money in Strip Club. They made me this. This is like 15 years old. <laughs> see that? They made me that. You see the stripper? You see him? They made this while they was high as a motherfucker, bored as shit at the. <laughs> her, booty, her booty crooked. It's supposed to be. She was high. Okay, <laughs> man. <laughs> you can ask any stripper. They be like, "Nah, we'll never do money." But he brought millionaires. Well, just, just let me hear you say he this. He put all for the strippers, and then let I me hear you say this. Out of private job. Let me hear you say this. Then I wouldn't want to do it no. But just say, Tech Nine and Rich the Factor are the two Kansas City greats. Tech Nine and Rich Factor are two grand C greatest. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to settle for that, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna settle for that. That's cool. Yeah, we gotta settle for that, man. Yeah, we, we gonna settle. We can't argue. We got <laughs> Look, the girls is in here. here. He did not throw money. <laughs> I'm the strip club king. Street and versus I commercial. Street versus commercial, man. That's 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 the only 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 way we gonna settle that. Look at Taz over here talking about he didn't throw no money. Never threw no money. Unless it was their birthday. I made it rain. I my girls there. It was my birthday. I'm throwing the money, buggy. You know what I'm saying? You said it was your birthday and you throwing the money. I'm throwing the money. Fuck it. I used to be out <laughs> them pills throwing money every day and that motherfucker tripping. I want some of my, some of these hoes hold me some uh, income tax money or something. Mm. I got the income taxes. <laughs> you say you oh, okay. You had something going on. I was the king. I still am. Yeah. <laughs> well, we gotta open up some doors for these people around here. What are we gonna what are we gonna do? What are we gonna Ooh. come together and do for these young boys? Like people like to get on what we gonna do to come together, y'all gonna get on Tech Nine's head instead of Jeffing with him and say, nigga, you ain't did shit and help us. No. That's the problem. Same way y'all Jeff with the DJs instead of being like, yeah, y'all suck. Y'all don't want to do this. Help us. Bro, when you say that every time, right? Let me just honestly, let me let me just say this is my opinion, right? I now I I it's some talented people here, right? They don't you got to spend, you gotta invest in yourself before you think that the DJs is going you can bully the DJs into playing your music, bro. Cause if you just did a party. I'm just saying, if you did a party here in Kansas City, anywhere, the biggest club or the smallest restaurant, as you call them, 
whatever, <laughs> and, and, and play all Kansas City music, bro. Who's gonna come? I don't know, but I'd be entertaining. Nobody, thousands. Gonna You're not gonna come. <laughs> Listen, I watch them niggas do that shit. I watch. I wa we watch Jr. Hood start do it over here at the Firelight. Any artist can come. They don't. They too Hollywood. The boy, the man over here at Climax do that shit all week long. Let artists come perform there. They don't even want to go perform and just and, and bring their followers to come to the club and make it look good. Cause Climax, I never go there probably. You sound it's like in there. bro. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Play my music, you goddamn disc jockey. Why am I playing your music? Pay me. That's your job is to play music. No, Why did you play these other niggas' music that we never heard? Trying to play this, break this song with us. Listen, listen how when you only got 30 yourself. people in the club and I paid to get in the club and I bought a drink in this motherfucking club. So DJ, who's at work, boy, go play the music. Or y'all gonna, gonna do send me your music club. from YouTube? You gonna uh, send me your music from YouTube? No. It's not it's not mix and master. They're not even paying for that. It's not mix and master. You don't even have a CD with a barcode on the back of it. They don't. <laughs> you niggas ain't investing in yourself. Listen, Young Dolph paid OJ the Juice man. Sleazy had none of that. Open up. Sleazy he, had none of that. He pushed his shit somewhere. He didn't do none of that. He pushed it somewhere. And got none hurt. of that. That's why you have no answer for this shit. He did hey, none no. of that. He did none something. of that. No DJ played hey, him in Kansas. It ain't, none of it ain't real. And it's because it of people it like you who keep saying it. Do this, 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 and this instead Your of saying the DJs need to. Street King was playing this shit. Street King was playing it. That's why he on tour with him. He <laughs> not played it all the time, but he played his music in the club. You never heard Sleep. We be in the club, Mike. You never heard that shit. I didn't know who he was. He did something right to get Bro, to, you never to heard that shit. Heard him at, though. You just, yes, you just made a statement I on never, something that I he never, said. Bro, you I never, never heard, heard colors music. I never heard of Cock Colors either. I never heard of Cock Colors, but somebody did because he got signed, right? What does that mean? It means they invested in themselves to get further in life, bro. You ain't going to keep... If, if you sit on the block and keep selling that blow up and ain't nobody come by, you're going to go invest in some soul top. You know, we, can, let's take, we can talk about it like the streets now. You got people who can make it organically, like motherfucking two times, just comes out with a song and says, listen to this, and the shit gets a hundred thousands of views. Hey. You got people like Cat who are fucking entertainers that will drop something and it's gonna automatically touch a whole bunch of shit. You know what I'm talking about? And then you got people who just come out of nowhere like Glorilla, like motherfucking Sleazy, like uh, Big Boss Vet, all these people are just coming out of nowhere, but they're not out of nowhere. They've been working. That shit don't even work. C-Dub got over 100 fucking songs and shit. That shit don't mean nothing. It doesn't make him bigger or anything. Yeah, you know don't. what I'm saying? You come out with a dance for one of them damn songs and get somebody to TikTok into that motherfucker. Now you're hitting different. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it, 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 and the fact that we don't, the DJs don't play our music to let somebody get a chance to get heard is the problem that Kansas City has. So like when we were at the at the uh, the show, this last one, there was no Kansas City music played except for Fat Tone. Okay. So then they need to go do something like them people did. If they got heard out of nowhere, they, they, they did something right. That's three people out of millions of people who are trying, bro. That don't even make sense. See, that's what the government be trying to install that, that people. Mean, that that, you that mean you're like probably not good. Three of them. That it's mean you're probably not good. Out of millions and billions of people trying this shit. That mean you're probably not oh, good. Fuck. You need to go listen to Rich the Factor and pick the pack up. <laughs> do the Rich the Factor out. <laughs> like C Dub did. They might need to do that. They might need to quit like, rapping. They might not be good. They, you don't gotta quit rapping. You don't make sense, bro. Not everybody's gonna make it like that. The majority of yeah. people by going through the steps and I don't all think so. Only only only, it's only 450 people in the NBA. Help eliminate a lot of those steps. You know, yeah. so that's why I stay on. I stay mad at both of them. You know, it's only 450 people in the NBA. Millions of niggas in college. 
I mean, I mean, at some point in time, you got to quit and do something else. There's another <laughs> league for you to play basketball. You got to quit and do something else. There's other leagues for you to play basketball. I'm going overseas with it, man. I'm going overseas, bro. And if I make it in the NBA, I'm going overseas. Whatever you do, you got to college go people hard, get paid. Get it hit different. <laughs> Get picked up by the NBA if you go overseas and play some good ball over there. Put up the numbers. But big you got to invest in yourself, though. If you ain't investing, you can't get mad at the DJs for not playing your shit, bro. If I want a DJ, here go $20, bro. Can you spend my shit in the club? Now, if you reject my $20, now I'm going to fuck around beat you up when I leave here. That's now, what you acting like a bitch. So I now, now okay, so now that we're on the same page. So and now, DJ, so, have, so now that they free. reject the twenty, now that they reject the twenty and say, "Nah, you need to come with a hundred dollars." No, this is all I got. Okay, so now <laughs> we on this. <laughs> might be all I got. Okay, so they told you no, you're not getting your music played. I might punch him up when I leave this. All place. right, then. So now you understand why F dot DJs is created. Thank you for rocking for the team instead of Jeffing with the suckers because they ain't taking twenty dollars. I think they'll take twenty dollars, bro. Yeah, try. It. I think niggas. I think niggas try can push up on them niggas and be like, "Try yeah, just play my music, bro." They make they posts do, all the time talking about y'all niggas better not come with that little twenty dollars and shit. Want me to stop my session? Like, man, it's thirty people in here and fifteen of them motherfuckers is regulars, man. If you don't quit playing with me, yeah, they hate it when you know the club analytics. Cause I know club analytics. That's why they keep scared as fucking me. Cause all that talking the motherfuckers be doing, I'll be like, he work here, he work here. That's his cousin. He be here every weekend. That's your brother. They came in. Y'all ain't even making no money in this motherfucker. I made more money sitting outside, nigga. You gotta push your shit like dope. If I was a rapper, that motherfucker, I guarantee you they'd know about it. No. If I if I was a rapper, they'd know about it. I'm gonna be pushing this. I'm going to be but pushing my shit like Buddy that ride around. It's the regular figures that's fucking up. CD. It ain't even the rappers. Every time the rappers the CD, are got new music. Out. The DJs got the rappers by the balls. Steve and, and, and rapper niggas, they scared to speak out about DJs. They be like, I ain't trying to get blackballed. I'm scared. I don't give a fuck about it. Man, I don't care about it. I don't care about it. I don't think you can get blackballed for what's made for you. Rappers. What's for you is going to be for you. Rappers I'm just gonna invest. I'm I'm gonna come to the DJ it's the humble with my twenty, bro. Can like you play you my music, who bro? Have to speak out. Y'all be on Give this chance, play my post music. after post, and y'all never speak out to help shit. But you want to jump on some shit talking about music. Help make a fucking post and make some changes. Then you like how we gonna help it? You're gonna support M Dot DJs because I'm the biggest thing supporting music in Kansas City. That's why. If this show was getting 30,000 views like it was and everybody was supporting me, Kansas City had been on. That's why. Regular people like you who fucking ride the fence is what's fucking everything up. Y'all act like, and then y'all go to the club. I don't ride the, the DJ fence. Sucks. I think, I think and Mike would be in the club next to me telling me the DJ sucks. He'd be like, boy, this motherfucking trash. Boy, he done play that same song twice and shit. Come on, man. I'm 40. I've been doing this shit for a long time. I, I see it. I know how they move. I know how they move, but I also shit if you. I think if a nigga came up to playlist, to, 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 to Yanni play, baby, same playlist for the past two years. They just said the man down the street the other day pulled the gun on the girl because she came with a YouTube mix and she couldn't play it on her shit. Now that DJ <laughs> better get it right. The man was <laughs> like, I, I, clearly. <laughs> See, I told clearly, you, nigga, it's like, it it it's tired it's not, we tired because, it's tired because, because this, music, is, like, this is why as an artist, bro, if you're an artist, bro, and you're not supposed to have your shit together so she can plug her shit in her computer, not no YouTube. You came with a you Pull my shit up on YouTube. You can play it on YouTube and plug in my phone. Quit acting stupid before we pull up with Chrome. That's what niggas is on, bro. It's that was that's, sound terrible that, in that's there. just exactly what the fuck you just said. You asked somebody to play your music, they said no, and you pulled it here. That song ain't even mixed and mastered. It <laughs> don't even sound good. You it probably even you don't even master, know bro. who the artist was. We don't I even don't. know who the artist was. We don't know who the artist I don't. And, and whoever the artist is, if you watch it, I don't want no problems. <laughs> <laughs> he pulling up with that chop out. I don't want no problems either. I'm not you know a, what DJ. Saying? a DJ in Kansas City. And then niggas that do shows. You I before did, they I did promoting music. before. A motherfucker do shows. I'm going to pay an artist $10,000 to come to Kansas City. And because you're a Kansas City rapper, I'm supposed to put you on a show for free. 
Am I supposed to put you on the show for free? If I pay ten thousand dollars for an artist to come to the club, you artists, people don't. They got shit with up the YouTube link up. Too. Who it's does not? that? Huh? I'm talking to the art. You don't even make sense. All the artists don't come to a DJ with a fucking YouTube link. That's hella stupid. Yeah. Like invest in yourself, bro. Make you. You got. Man, I didn't win the music conferences with Grand Hustle, with Sony Music, with. With hella people, bro. I went to St. Louis, bro. Niggas was coming in there handing them them uh, uh, blank CDs and the little paper packages. Them people don't want that shit, dog. They don't want to see that shit, dog. If you if this was back, this was some years ago. If you wasn't investing in yourself, I took my boy CD. He come through. We got the we got the pack. That motherfucker uh, rap like dope. It got the barcode on there. It got the my boy Calico from Kansas City. Man, it had it was it was done right. And when we when I handed them that CD, they was they raised that motherfucker up. And this is what we want. We want to know you invested in yourself before we invest in you. Man, ain't nobody worried about that shit, bro. If I'm hot and making music, Sleazy didn't go through none of that. So everything you saying is irrelevant. Man, I just, that, did, that man did more than what point. you think he did. He, he had to, bro, because he no, wouldn't be where he is just because. Man, little baby ain't just woke up and TikTok and just accidentally clicked on this nobody ass nigga from Kansas City, Detroit, wherever the fuck he's from, and was like, "Oh, he hard." Cause I don't think he hard, and I'm saying it. I don't care who feel like that. I don't think that shit is hard. It's cool though. He's got some catchy punchlines, and he got on. Congratulations to him. I I can't. What can I say though? Who am I? That's just my opinion. I'm. <laughs> had to see the yeah yeah I would hey you know they was asking you to cut the nigga off a long time ago but yeah uh, but I uh, my only thing is we I they, they kind of explained it to me Will you ain't never gonna give Tech his respect I give you know what I'm saying hey you gonna now nah, you give him half ass no we don't want your half ass respect nigga we I, don't want to have we want the full you know what I'm saying? Like, will slap treatment. Will you give certain people that good treatment? You give niggas who ain't did shit. Hey, <laughs> you give niggas who ain't did shit that good will slap treatment, and you just do this to tech. I don't get what's your, what's your, what, what, what's your problem with the nigga? For one, like I said, he didn't open any doors. So there's, there's, there's nothing I fuck up. You know what I'm saying? By speaking my mind to him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then for the fact that, like I said, we never, we never played Tech Nine in the inner city. Like, I've never heard anyone playing Tech Nine's music after the Let's Get Fucked Up era you know what i'm saying like i've never heard tech nine's music again right that's cool but the whole thing the way this topic came up we was just talking about the impact of the artist overall on the on the goddamn world and uh tech nine is the most notable person to ever come out of kansas city that's it to the world i guess you're talking about london like that, like if he's not, your cousin, why he don't put you on? Put me on what? <laughs> put me on what? What are you talking about? All I know is uh, him and Rich have the power to open more doors, and they haven't done big it. Fa big facts, big facts. And like big how y'all said, Tech got the biggest doors to open, so who do you go for? The person with the that has the biggest access. So who am I gonna be the maddest at? He who can do the most. Okay, okay. That's a I, I like how you put it. 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 Hey, these niggas, hey y'all. The whole thing is. I'm not going to, don't worry about me signing the strings. Don't worry about it. I'm going to be where y'all, y'all going to be pretty satisfied with where CW Yumbler ends up. I'm going to tell y'all this, like, y'all don't got to worry about me because 
I don't even worry about this shit no more. It's already solidified. Don't y'all don't gotta keep saying uh -huh. I mean, ain't. Cali rappers in Kansas City. That ain't facts. He signed way more Kansas City artists. Y'all niggas sound stupid as fuck when y'all say stupid shit. They just making up shit now. <laughs> they just making up shit. You just don't fuck you, man. roster or some shit, bro. Y'all just don't even want that King Los and that and, 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 and the old nigga, the uh, Brother Lynch nigga. My whole thing is what I said earlier. Tech with, uh, and Rich. They showed us the Marcus, blueprint. The Marcus, rich. You big, hold on, Marcus, you're a big Tech Nine fan. Angelic was a classic as fuck. What's his last CD? Or what's his CD before his last CD? Mister, I'm a Tech fan. We can sit here and start going hard for Rich the Factor. Quit hitting him. Cause you're the first person coming in here to tell. We know Tech. He said you got denied by straight music. All right, bro. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I was just in the club talking with Travis. Well, not just, but when AWACS was here. Will, why don't you go ahead and start up a label, man? Put you some artists out, man. I'm not dealing with niggas not showing up to the show or being on time. I should knock the fuck out of people. Oh, yeah, that's going to happen. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, don't do it. Because that's going to happen. That's going to happen. I'll be like, bro, you didn't see a what? <laughs> <laughs> Still on a that's money, nigga. I'm cracking your ass. Like, nigga, I, 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 you should want to pull the heat, so we're going to go right there to it. So it ain't even no point. I'm going uh, to text you when I get tech on the live, because I want y'all need five minutes. I, I need to, I need to, I got Five minutes, so I can. So I can. I want to see you say this shit to him, and I want to see how he dissect it, cause I take it all wrong. I want to see what. I want to see how that conversation with y'all in the bathroom went. I want to see it live. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to see this shit live. So I'm gonna tap in with you, bro. All right. Uh, I got a few things. I, I got a. I got a whole itinerary lined up. Now I gotta add you to the itinerary, cause you. You. Uh. You, oh man, you. I, I do want him to answer this whole how people like you and and not just you. The whole the streets feel like he didn't open up no doors. So I want him to answer that for real. Like, what does he have to say to that? I that I really want that question answered. So I'm gonna definitely get that question answered. I want to see what his his rebuttal is for the people that say he didn't open up no doors. Like, and, I, and somebody in the comments asked you. So so and I want to know this for when I ask him. What do you mean open doors? What 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 exactly? What's an example of opening a door? Like I said, when I went out of town, being able to say Rich was on a, a part of this, just saying I knew, you know, affiliation with Rich, I was able to sell more CDs, not even saying that I was well mafia or anything like that. They was just like, is Rich on there? I could be like, Nah, Rich ain't on there and shit. And you, but but you fuck with Rich, and they be like, yeah, I'll be like, but this is some good ass music. Like like Rich approves this type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I, yo, hey, I, bro, I, in between me and I, you, Will, bro, thing. In between me and you, Will, bro, it's so hard for me to debate with you right now because Rich the Factor opened up a whole. He opened up the whole underground scene for me. Like a lot of people only listen to me we because of Rich be the Factor. Cookies, if it wasn't for Rich the Factor, man, the Factor opened up a he did open up a door for me, bro. When you say that, he definitely a lot of people tell me, bro, I, I heard your first album because I was listening to this Rich CD, then your shit was in the same group and all this. Like, Rich did open up doors for niggas on this underground shit. A lot of people found out who Rich the Factor is and they said, Well, who are all these other people from where Rich the Factor from? And that's how a lot of us got any they traction. Got do that at all i don't think so i can't confirm that at technology oh i've been out I don't of think so. and I'm well i'm not i don't all. know bro i don't know bro oh i don't know oh i don't know white folks can't speak because i ain't go to the white folks i probably go to the white folk i ain't gonna lie now if i go out to blue springs they, they i'll be they be like hey i'll be like i know tech nine they be like, you don't know Tech Nine. Look at this live with me and Tech Nine. Take some, you know what I mean? 
they be like, oh, they're tech nine, wow. Dude, you're cool, you know what I'm saying? So maybe I gotta use it in the white world. That's why I said here in the nigga land, he get no white world is white world is the biggest world. It, it, it is, but in the nigga land, he got no love. And I speak for niggas. He gets no love around <laughs> here. And he knows that. <laughs> it's not a disrespectful thing. He knows he has never been respected by us. But the, but the grown niggas, we all respect what he turned into. We we respect where he ended up. Nah, we still call him a sellout and a weirdo. He didn't sell shit out. He we, didn't sell shit out, Bro, we paint on his face and said 666 and came out going, bro. Hey, hey, no, 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 Will. Will, have you watched this? Rocking, when he didn't, we ain't even, when he started rocking with Insane Clown Posse over Blood, Damu, he ain't even read Blood no more. That nigga was Insane Clown Posse. That nigga the biggest blood. He top five biggest bloods I ever met. He top five. Big, hey, but anyway, bro. I ain't say that nigga, blood. I said he started rocking Insane Clown Posse. Bro, Tech. Tech didn't sell out, bro. I don't know what you're talking they about. They don't bro. even look at him as a the blood. They look at him as Oh, that's, no, that's what I was going to ask you. Bro, he be game banging on. Hey, but have you. Watch his drink champs interview. Have you watched his no jumper interview where he explains his life? That's what I'm saying. I think if you if you listen to him explain why he ended up like on that nut house shit. I have you didn't watch the big court interview. You didn't watch big court and the tech nine interview. I'm out. I have respect for motherfucking my Scorpio co-partner Aaron Yates. This nigga okay. tech nine though. <laughs> That nigga's a weirdo. You know what I'm saying? He know he a weirdo. He knows he a weirdo. What, 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 what that Bro, I'm me? a street nigga. He's not a hood street nigga. You know what I'm saying? So we never could feel. He a weird, hey, he a weird street nigga. Man, that nigga's, bro, that nigga's in the streets. He a weird street nigga. He just, he just put music over everything. You put something over everything, he put music over everything. Right. I, I put the streets over everything. He put music. He, he put music over everything. And that's why he at where he at. <laughs> I'm a street nigga and he's a fucking rapper. He's a he's and a street niggas never supported rappers. You want to be you if you had to choose your paths, you would want to end up where tech is at 50 years old. I wouldn't have wanted to do as much drugs or been around as many gay people as Tech Nine. I'd rather be rich to factor all day long, except for going to jail for that six months. Man, this nigga wild. I'd rather be rich to factor all day long, nigga, respected by big meats than, than Lil Wayne, nigga. Who you want Man, to shout out MF4, man. I'm getting Who, off here for a wheel kick me off, man. Be respected by big meats or motherfucking Lil Wayne. Nigga, get out of here, man. Hey, you wanna be hey, I'll hit different, man. Shout out to the real street niggas, man. <laughs> and they could take that. He had to get out of here. All you rap about is street bricks and shit. See the <laughs> We're all right on this one. Hey, just I ain't I ain't trying to knock him or hate on him or anything. I'm just telling the truth. Shit. You small thinking, really, you can't even think big. Really get in here so I can just embarrass you real quick. My food almost, you almost done, baby? Y'all know I only be just giving y'all these lives while my food is getting prepared. <laughs> he on Forbes, though. Goddamn right. But being on, but being, hey, man, like Gilly just said, bro, don't make care about having money, bro. Money ain't everything. If you ain't there for your kids, if you ain't enjoying your life, the Tech Nine got a girlfriend? He got a girlfriend or a hoe, nigga. You 40-something years old. You got a girlfriend or a hoe, nigga. You got somebody you can trust. You know what I'm saying? Life a motherfucker, bro. It ain't all about money. So when somebody be like, you want to be a multimillionaire? And that ain't depending on how I get there. Be careful what you wish for. You know what I'm saying? Do I got to sacrifice somebody? That nigga went through QD3. QD3 is a known gay man. You know what I'm saying? What did Tech 9 do to get some of these contracts to do? Oh, nigga, I'm cool. And I ain't even dogging on tech. I'm just going off of the reality of the things that we've heard about the people that he's been around. So, nigga, do I want that? Hell no. Nah. Do I want to be around Rich the Factor? Fuck yeah, nigga. BMF. Nigga, fuck yeah, nigga. 
They like, oh, he's gone to jail forever. I don't give a fuck. The team didn't fall off, nigga. The, the whole another thing, and then they put a lot of black people on, bro. They did a lot of things. They helped pay for a lot of rent. You niggas is fucking government assholes, nigga. Shit, like that's some weird shit that y'all rock with the millionaires over the street, niggas. That's why I love being the street, nigga. That's why y'all watch this shit and everything because I'm the streets. I ain't gonna let you just speak like, oh, I'm a millionaire. Look at this. This is all grandy because I already made court dog look stupid for that million dollar shit. I'm a millionaire. Nigga, show me your wife. Nigga, you got your dream wife? <laughs> millionaire, happy guy? Shut the fuck up, bro. Go to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go do something. Go, you know, like, nigga, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Even, and, and like you said, just go listen to text music. It was really sad and depressing and talking about a lot of fucked up shit, bro. He had a lot going on with his kids. He had a lot going on with his mother. He had a lot going on, bro. That, that nigga lived a, a hell of a life, dog. And, and no, I wouldn't want in his life. He didn't get, get on with the rap shit until you was over 30 and shit. Fuck that. That was a hard struggle. That was, that was, a, that was, that was vicious, dude. Fuck that. That shit was gangster, nigga. I fuck with it. That's why I give him his props. Like, nigga, he's the biggest American music art, independent music artist in the world. What you ass got to say? What you got to say to me, Will? Why you want to talk to the legend for it? What you want? I'm just saying, if you knew anything, I hung up on you, C Dub style. You said what? You said C Dub did what? <laughs> you just never went with this dude. <laughs> 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 oh shit, man! What do you have to what talk about this, really? This thing. What you talking about? This fuck, bro. Oh my god! What you talking about? Real is a 98%. <laughs> All right, let's bring it back again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all need to him. Hey, y'all, hey, real is entertainment, man. It just, he's so funny, man. So we were talking about how tech and opening doors and if the streets. Did did you did you slap tech none? Were you tech none? Yeah, oh yeah, I still bump in tech. What's wrong with you? You still play tech nine? Hell yeah. <laughs> the old shit or some new shit? All of it. <laughs> What's the name of his last album? Uh, Asic Nine or something like that. He got Blix coming too. Look at him. Oh, you have been hanging with tech nine, so you've been doing your homework. I'm tripping. Nigga, it ain't live, nigga. That's just facts, nigga. Tech is the illest nigga moving, nigga. I don't want to listen to these old bubble gun, street rapping ass niggas all day. I be want to hear some lyrical shit, though. I be want to hear some dope shit, nigga. And you sign my brother X-rated, nigga. You crazy, nigga. That's where that's where it all starts, nigga. Bars. Who want? I'm in my car with the thirty, nigga. Catch a nigga, man. I want the man that old bubble gun rapping ass shit, nigga. These niggas not even on rich the factor level of talking. Street game. Oh my knowledge. That nigga said Come on, man. X rated. Yeah, okay. I am talking about some hardcore lyricists, man. Man, come on, nigga. I, I I bump tech all day. Do I agree? All the stuff tech play is dope. No, it might be off the chain, but he's still speaking on a lot of this shit. He spent a lot. I ain't tech is a monster, man. I don't know. Like he's a he's a he's a monster, man. Like tech is something he'd give you a movie when he rap, nigga. He make you zone out. Couldn't tell you. I ain't listened to that nigga since the 90s. Right? 2000, whenever fuck that shit came out. Even... That's, that's messed up. Damn, bro. Like, take the bit, man. You got to bump hip-hop, man. You got to love hip-hop. You got to love dope. And you got to understand tech rapping for real, though. He, he rapping real-life situations, though. Quincy Jones told Tech Nine. Do he? Tech Nine asked Quincy Jones. He told him. What y'all rap about, Tech? Quincy Jones told that nigga to rap real. They'll feel you. Now look where he at. Now look where he at. I ain't stopped listening to no Tech Nine. Niggas just petty minded, man. Like, nigga, nigga, I'ma still listen to Tech. I'ma still listen to Brother Lynch. I'ma still listen to all these dope ill niggas. Everybody, I'm still 
up on Sebo, Lewis. I'm still up on it. I ain't gonna give up on them niggas. Them niggas be having some dope stuff. Boy, you an old nigga for real. That nigga said Tech could put a bag on the nigga. Nah, for real though, Tech a legend, bro. I never stop listening to Tech, man. I never. You be, tech, that music you listen to, Will, is not educational like that, man. It's not gonna. It ain't. It tech Nine's not. Why this shit ain't real, man? You're not gonna tell me Tech Nine is educational, bro. That nigga is depressed. Yeah, he is educational, nigga. When he be spitting and everything about life. That nigga's depressing. Real. Real life situations though, he spitting real. He ain't spitting nothing fake. He ain't rapping about riding around shooting niggas with a thirty pack, fake drug dealer nigga. Now, fake pimping. About to play a song. I'll get this. Just get tagged real quick. I won't get it cut off. Nigga, name a song. We about to look this dude up, bro. We is not about to go through this shit. <laughs> Tech will make you want to look at Freddie Cook. I'm with Nah, man. Tech ain't man. That's how I know niggas ain't listen to tech. Tech be everywhere with it, man. No, we don't. Tech be everywhere. That was what we trying to prove. Is that we don't listen to tech. That's crazy, man. That's why I can't see the lyrics fell off. They don't even pay attention to the flows no more. Legendary stuff, man. What's the song? What's the good song that you want me to, to play of this nigga? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't remember they song. Just play anything. <laughs> I don't. I don't even remember what Rich the Factor song. I don't even know any songs like that. I just listen to them. I know how to find what I'm looking for. I put in Tech Nine. I don't see no recent song. Three years ago, like I ain't Joey Cool. Ten days. Hey Joey. Uh, nine years ago. Six years ago. Five years ago. What the hell are you in? What are these tapes? I don't even know. I don't know how to do none of this shit. I don't know how to do I just put in, let's put in tech. Well, nigga, uh, play, uh, 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 play, uh, uh, outdone. Out. Look how, oh, uh, look, Rio came in. Mitch made, that's what I'm saying. That's the only thing. Rio, <laughs> Rio prehistoric, man. That's all man. Got. Too old. The real niggas <laughs> never played this. Come on, Mitch May. Damn. We know, I know that Rio, was another song when that with it, started man. naming off the years, and that was like the last time I heard Tech Nine unless it was on the radio and I was forced to listen to it. Like on that other shit, uh, something, something. Uh, something. Nigga play Outdone. You know what I'm saying? Outdone. Yeah, play the video too, nigga, so you can see how dope that boy and creative he is. Two years ago, okay. Interfere, okay. No, I'm just, I'm just gonna play. <laughs> you don't know nothing else. I don't know nothing about this man. He got me. I ain't never. After Miss Knight, it was over. Hold on. Gotta reconnect. Yes, here. I'm ready. <clears throat> And play that. Huh? Sleep on tech, boy. Tech is a beast, boy. Got it. How many niggas can rap about their history, though? Okay. Wait, I'm tripping. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> but nowadays, they still sing an hour praise. Our praise. Praise a lot of hell up for us, a crowd of fame. Devour naysayers, hating, trying to set a cloud of blaze. My rattle stale, extra lit, and Kelly's my power aid. And together, we get paid in full. For the cheddar, we be raging and bulls. And it get hate and cruel. Meddling with pay and jewels. And we sit late in pools. Hit him with a blazing tool. He said he wasn't a fan of us. 
coming at me with a camera, see me and become a stammerer, because I am the one with the stamina. I got the fully, I'm about to be bullied from Casey and more in Canada. You with the work of a janitor, and I'm really coming to dodge up. Nobody want to be showed up. They send me one verse and they hold up. I send them my verse and they go bust. Another verse after minus a stole cut. Cause they go nuts when a pro clutch. Microphones giving no fuck cause I'm dope plus. And my flow trust like I'm so guts. Think it ain't like a pro rock? From Jack Stack. Yeah. The gats back. Yeah. When I'm out my town, I get my adventures right at sax. Woo. That smell in my riches will get your bitches hat max. Nigga, you should have let it play now. Nigga, you can't just cut off a song. Nigga, if you trying to do a review, what type of music review or do it? Nigga, are you? That was my own personal. It wasn't for everybody. You should have let them finish. I'm trying to listen to him. I just, I can't listen to him, bro. It's, it's still the same. Let him finish, nigga. He ain't even snapped in yet. He ain't said shit. Let him finish. Let, man, play it, bro. Play the song. Just play it. You don't just cut off. You can pause it now. He was spitting on there. But the reason why he's spitting because it's a diss track for one. He's talking about Twister Insane. And he letting niggas know, nigga, he can make you outdone. He's real lyrical with the flows in his history of nigga being tech nine. Nigga, it's real. Like, nigga, it's real life spits. Like, it ain't fake. Like, nigga, it's real. It's this situation. And how he worded is dope. Like, nigga, come on, man. Come on. That's just some man. Come on, man. I can't relate. Hell yeah, well, she gassed all them up. I can't relate to none of that shit. Cause your mind is like, like a a a, a, a seed or something. Like it just it's just a dead seed that don't grow. That's like, bro, man, you man, come on, man, you just old. Man. I not understand where that man coming from. Yeah, yeah me and right. the majority of black men from the inner city. Use a lie. You talking about a nigga. Bro, bro. <laughs> you crazy, boy. It wasn't you crazy. Boy, you got a peanut bread, boy. Boy, you the only just crazy, the man. With you, even on social media, are rapper niggas. If you weren't a rapper like me, then you didn't think this shit was cool. What? Bro, I listen to all genre of music, bro. Like, I don't even just only listen to rap, bro. Like, I listen to everything. Like, right here when I... Good music is good music. Right here when I see this clown-looking nigga, like, this is a clown. He a clown. Call it what you see. Shit, if you walk like a duck, talk like a duck, act like a duck, it's like a duck. Oh, my God. What's your issue, man? What you trying to say, like Will say? What are you? What's your whole issue, man? Nigga, shit. Tech is a monster and one of the top he five lyrics in the world, nigga. He did it to himself. He tried to call us slackers. He did some weird shit. He went and hung with some gay people. It's all his problem, man. We ain't trying to representation of Kansas City that we don't want as a. What gay people have he hanged with? QD3. QD3 gay. Really? Or Quincy Jones. Really? Tupac said Quincy Jones wanted Tupac's well Tupac quote he said he won't Quincy Jones wanted Pac to go and screw him in the ass just to marry his daughter, get with his daughter, some weird ass stuff. Yeah. So where QD three come from? I have an opinion. <laughs> I would have done that. Who said tech was industry? I thought he was independent from my knowledge. I thought Ray said Tech, one of the biggest uh, independent artists coming out of Kansas City, Missouri.
he the biggest independent American, I mean, music artist in American music history, nigga. Uh, no cap, y'all y'all best together. <laughs> well, shut up. You know what I'm saying? Just real. So what do Rich and Fappy got to do with Tech Nine? That's what I heard. I'm saying, I'm like, what what, what do Rich got to do with Tech? They two different worlds, but they dope if they still collab. I just say Rich the Factor open doors. Rich the Factor show you the independent game that niggas don't even pay attention to. JT the bigger figure showed us that. The game ain't the thing. I'm saying when you go out of town, they ask you if you know Rich, if you are with the Rich way. You know what I'm saying? If, do you, is your music going to be like Rich the Factor's music? If it's not, we don't want to hear it. It's how they are out of town. I've been out of town. They nigga, they represent both Tech and Rich and Fat Tom. I and many more niggas than one name. I ain't never seen no niggas rapping Tech Nine. I ain't never met a black man. You crazy as hell. Oh, my dad homies. Nigga, they play. They know about the Tech. They always speaking about Tech and Rich. Tom. Y'all you, know, you know, the city witnessed me going out of town selling slapping the trash of CDs. And, and and my and, and, and my best line was Rich the Factor. They would be like, is, "What kind of music? It's that Rich the Factor type shit, man. Gritter music. We have to use those words, gritter. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, man. You can come to the gritter flow. Like I'm not just one mind track. You think I'm a bump tech and rich? And I if I feel like on some lyrical stuff, I'm gonna bump it tech. And then they, I don't want to hear no street gutter ass when stuff. They, I'm gonna bump tech. They say the king of Kansas City. I say Rich the Factor because he paved the way. And who's the king of Kansas City? Rich the Factor because he paved the way, and we still use his lingo. To this moment, you can't. They already labeled themselves who they was. Rich the Factor, the king of Rich the Factor, the king of Kansas City. Tech Nine is the chief of Kansas City. Popper is the mayor of Kansas City. They already made that establishment. No, it wasn't established to the social media. So, uh, I'm going to put it like this, man. Half of these niggas talking probably ain't even bumping on Rich's new past two albums. And I guarantee you that. Uh, Half of you niggas don't even know what Rich got going on. I guarantee you a lot of these niggas doing out, but they ain't bumping new Rich albums. Shit, if you got F.DJ, they got Rich. Man, I'm talking about his shit. I don't give a fuck. They still got Rich. No, I'm talking about his last two albums. Yeah, nigga. NFT. Nobody listen to the pop rock, do. I'm not man one track minded. I listen to a lot of people. <laughs> when I'm in my, it's a lot of artists to listen to. I listen to a lot of people. Sometimes I'll be like, damn, oh man, I ain't heard Welsh Welsh in a minute. Get in my Welsh Welsh zone. Just try to run through his catalog, catch up on it. And nigga don't be bumping no tech line. Who don't? <clears throat> All right, you think I don't? Rich ain't never even have to update. He stayed dated. He stayed level. He always been speaking that above them niggas' helmet shit. How many niggas really bumping Rich right now? Nick, Without you go out Saturday? Did you go out? I'm talking about all his, I'm, I, I listen to all his new albums. Bro, when, back to this, listen to him. He's still the number one played music. He got one with Payroll, Giovanni, so hard, and niggas ain't even talking about that. He's still the number one played nigga in Kansas City, bro. Still the number one play when you go. Y'all still talking about Ricks and Tech, man. You, what about the new artists, man? Marley Young, YGKC, man. Like the newest artists. Ain't getting to play. If you hit Westport, Rich is still the number one music selected songs going on. I don't even hear tech in the clubs that much, but uh, that one song, the ass planet, uh, planet, uh, planet rock, whatever. Yeah, tech don't have no no ground. Nobody from Kansas City plays tech's music. I'm not listening to y'all because y'all don't listen to me. Plain and simple, nobody listens to that shit. Tech, 
has never been played in the inner city. He has songs where he talks about it. They they just don't play me. Rich don't drop videos. That's something Rich don't do. He don't give out enough visuals. Rich don't give a fuck. He showed some don't. He's, I like how Rich dropped it back to back. That most doesn't niggas. get. Hey, that's talk. Why you talking about Rich? Why the artists in KC? They if he gave out so much of game in the blueprint, why they don't do what Rich do? C Dub are the only one. C Dub the only one that's trying to keep over Rich the factor and dropping albums. Rich never gave a blueprint. He's not in it to help us. He doesn't give a fuck. He didn't care about being the king. None of these things mean anything to him. He's a grandpa. He doesn't give two shits about this. That bitch don't spend nothing but Whitney Williams. That's, yeah, how you doing, Miss Lady? Yeah. Right, now I don't want to hear that shit no more. <laughs> go play it out. I That's one of his hits. He got 150 CDs. Man, play something else. Hey, it is what it is, man. That's no DJs. Rich don't shake no ass, he get bread. Point, you know what I'm saying? The DJs had a song, Rich did a, Rich did the motherfucking remix with the popper and Too Short on, on Yo Gotti shit. Like, they never play him, they just, they some haters, bro. They don't wanna see us make it. They wanna see- Who don't wanna see us make it? Yo colleagues. Who my colleagues? The, the real world's me. <laughs> you rock with the DJs. They, the DJs don't. Hey, y'all talking about DJs that really don't know nothing about music? That's the crazy part. They play Tech Nine DJs. and White Clubs. I ain't gonna say that. They play the Tech Nine and White Clubs. He ain't never fell off. He like Smith. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear that? Oh, we Tech gonna get played every White Club they could know about. Man, I don't know. I can't speak. Of, I don't know what's wrong with the KC DJs, man. It's niggas like you who don't say nothing to them, and y'all keep jeffing with them. The problem is y'all keep jeffing with the DJs. No. And the shit about to. How do I deal with DJs? I don't do. I don't be around no DJs. No. You be jeffing with them, having them on your live, man. You be, you be, you be DJ Dicky, man. You be out here jeffing with them DJs, bro. Why do I need the DJs when I push my own way? You be jeffing with them DJs, dog. I got a song with Rocky. <laughs> That's what's up. Smart move. DJ Rocky Montana play can't see the music all the time. See, there you go. He do. DJ. I'll be right there bear witnessing to it when I feel like being out there to see it. And it's like, damn, Rocky, I have to. I, and we was at Boulevard Nights. He kept playing all can't see the music. I pointed at him and said, I told you. Like, man, nigga play all can't see the music that's popping. And I, he did not stop that night. I said, damn, dude. Yep. He played Deej, Duck, Fat Tone. Uh, Ron Ron Two Gun Oh eight And that's because I put the pressure on them to do that. So they wasn't even doing that. But now they be like, Well I slapped that Wendy Williams for you. <laughs> How you doing, Miss Lady? <laughs> <laughs> hey, one of your uh, uh, one of your uh, uh, cheerleaders must want some attention in the comments. He loves saying my name. Say my name all the way till you wore out, man. Well, quit reading this shit and talk to me. <laughs> Keep on saying my name. Promote it. Say it like Candyman. DJs play the same songs, though. Man, I don't care about them DJs, man. They just be wearing about the real show and uh, uh, Will Slap show and listen to the music on there. They went about a club you be where back. you get played one time, man. man. Stop it, man. You be back. That's yeah. just the DJs, man. Like, y'all looking for the DJs to program. DJ, people, that's what y'all want. Huh? Best DJ, you ask me. Fuck, no, nah, I'm going with 4K. I'm going with Turned Up. This niggas just coming up, bro. They really rock the club out. Y'all just talking about that same fucking events with the same DJs. All them motherfuckers suck. That coalition DJ shit, trash, bro. All them niggas. They whole fucking coalition. Garbage. Y'all don't even know I'm in out of town in this state of garbage on mine. So you don't like coalition DJs at all? 
They try. You know, Corey, listen, these days it's not only in Kansas City, they ain't Philly in a lot of places. Huh? They in Philly and everywhere. They trash there then too. They get they ain't coming together. Trash. I seen them bring the uh, glow girl to Philly, boy. They did not give her no respect at all. No. You do not bring that dirty South stuff to the East Coast. They don't like it. Damn you disrespectful, Will. Why? Because I tell the truth? They're trash. I don't have to say niggas is good or not, dog. Core DJ's the Illuminati. <laughs> Damn. Core DJ's the Illuminati, man. I don't I don't I don't worry about the DJs for real. Like I don't worry. I don't worry about why artists ain't all right, so did Tech Nine and Rich Pack and these DJs to blow up? Yeah. Oh my god, for sakes. Yeah. I thought it was the individual artist that was just hard enough to make the people know who he is and the network and the footwork they put in to make them blow up. No, you got played in the clubs, everybody knew who you was. Nah, that wasn't it. Yeah, that's literally what it was. You got played in the clubs, you got played at the events, you got slapped at Kemper Arena, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Rich is the only motherfucker who made it the other way. Tech, man, he's independent and everybody just love Tech Flow. Come on, man. No, nobody liked Tech's flow. He wasn't nothing. He struggled until he was 30, nigga. What well, with flows or paper? Period. Oh my god. Send me the invite, Welch. Y'all better hurry up. Oh. My phone dying and she almost done with food. Man, I this is why Kansas City ain't gonna go nowhere. Y'all ain't trying to pay homage, man. You gotta pay homage to No, Kansas City ain't gonna go nowhere because y'all niggas that stand on the sidelines don't cheerlead for the right team. What team? Who's doing anything? I'm doing numbers. I'm doing some shit. So I don't know what you talking about. Oh my god. The next up. Tech, I almost oh, made me call you Tech. Nigga, we been on the same rampage the since how long, nigga? No. I just think it's just like the labels, bro. DJs, the labels, it's just like back in the day, they had built an artist from the ground up. They not coming to get no artists if you ain't got numbers. It's just like the DJs. They not fucking with your music if you ain't got numbers. Why? Who or if fuck you do to say what I got to do in anything, bro? It, it's kind of just like what everybody going off nowadays. But that's why a lot of people don't have genuine relationships. Sleazy didn't have no numbers to be before he made it out there like that. Well, he did. He did have some songs. Yes, the fuck he did. <laughs> I took it back. He was getting a hundred k some shit before he even blew up. Mm -hmm. It be like that though. It but cat been having it's your footwork. Numbers do a lot. Cat, numbers cat, can be bought, and numbers different than sleazy world music. I say though. a lot of numbers lie. That's why I say I'm the king of Kansas City because the amount of human beings that come up to me. Now that is what you can't lie about. You no, know what I mean? No. What, and I'm what, like, shit. You got it different. You got it different. You build a platform for people to want to even come in. And, and you see what I'm saying? It's different. Rather than a nigga just saying, oh, I got a podcast or I, I go live every day. You know what I'm saying? It's different. You build a platform for you to have that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, because I took off in two weeks. I can take off again. It's just being consistent and take and doing this shit. I can take off again. It ain't even. That. People looking new shit. What's bro. up, real? <laughs> man, I don't know, man. I'm retired, man. I ain't got nothing to say for real, man. Oh. Will is blessed to have me on this live, nigga. When you don't oh, see Rilla on the internet, nigga, no Rilla's coming with something more drastic. Will, you ain't fucking with me. You talking about you the king, but I keep doing legendary shit. You still on the same mission. Watch how I come back. Watch how I come back. <laughs> nigga, I'm, call me Ardesus, nigga. Watch how I return back. Nigga, I'm going to come back even more drastic than ever. I'm chilling watching you niggas talk, 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 talk. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna come back. You were driving. You're still trying to be famous. Like I'm already. I ain't never being famous, nigga. I be in reality, nigga. What I care about fame, nigga. You know it just y'all y'all don't. Nigga, I'm blessed, nigga. I'm not worrying about no fame. That's what you niggas do. You niggas gonna have to go live every day, and I'm just gonna hop on and go crazy. Oh shit! Like y'all gonna have to go I'm live every left. day. Wait till I pull up without my sleeves. I'm not worried about it. I'm trying to map out a new work. You niggas still talking about the same stuff. Nigga, let's push these new artists, nigga. Man, let Rich and Tech, they get old like, in their 50s, like nigga. Let's focus on what's new, nigga. Too, really? Damn. You said what, bro? I feel like you built us. I feel like you built us. Well, breaking up. Too. I think y'all better together, though. Get off the Wi Fi. Man, that nigga. Is it crazy, working better man. now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that nigga I crazy, say, really, man. I feel like you built yourself a, a platform, too. Y'all better together, though. My platform being be here before, nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm prehistoric. I'm legendary, nigga. I blew life into Will Slap. Cool. Nigga, that's keeping that's fact. Cool. That you nigga see, Will Slap see, but, ain't talking about no music to real start this music world, nigga. But, nigga but, better but you know how the real king, nigga. I'm King but you Kong, nigga. Eat he your, Geico, you gotta, nigga. You gotta, he used to be Godzilla, but this nigga word. turned to a Geico because he worrying about them lame-ass DJs. You gotta, look, you got to eat your words, really, because, look, you see how you be wanting the artists to be unified and, you know, us to work together. Y'all do. I think y'all do some of y'all best work together. Man, man, we'll always work together. Will, you took a vacation. Where you go, Will? <laughs> Where you go, real, well, life. real life, you know, real life, real life come into play. That's all it be. Yeah, that's real talk. That's real talk. Handle the reality, yeah. man, before you handle these matches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a person. If like, I man, we'll I all, not for real, all BS right. to the side, man. We'll always collab, and we just collab for a whole little run, and we go our ways. Godzilla go his way, it. King Kong go. I don't even want to hear them niggas no more. <laughs> it's like real voice is irritating. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, nigga. Voice started getting irritated. He just be talking in circles, talking about who started, did something, all kind of extra shit. My overall goal is to get Kansas City music heard. A lot of people don't be wanting to help me. And then when I point it out that they don't want to help me, they all be like, ah, oh, man, you know, man, leave me out of it and all kind of shit, man. The plain and simple thing is, if y'all really want to get behind something, why wouldn't you get behind me? I've been the biggest musical movement in Kansas City for the last six years. I've been the biggest watched motherfucker in the city besides Mia. You know what I'm saying? That, <clears throat> that Kansas City has. We entertain y'all by going live and doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? I do morning shows. I got everybody getting up in the morning. C-Dub is even getting up in the morning trying to do morning shows now. You know what I'm saying? Facebook paying me these reels and shit. You know, so I'm just running up the numbers with you guys now la laughing. But I'm not doing it to be famous. Y'all do this shit to be famous and to get all kind of credit and, and notoriety and all that. I really just be trying to put the music in front. And I don't got get why y'all don't stand behind me and F dot DJs. Dude, Battles just came on here. If I try to get a DJ $20 and he say no, I'm taking flight. I'm like, that's what F dot DJs is about. Without taking flight, we went and made the music in the card so we wouldn't have to beat up DJs anymore. There's a card that you put your music on that I've been distributing to thousands of people and that they are playing repeatedly, choosing me over Spotify, iTunes, and all the other fucking accounts that they got. And I'm on volume seven. I've put out 350 fucking Kansas City songs. Like, I don't know what y'all. I've made Tech Nine talk about me. Rich the Factor's brother is in here right now. Like, this shit don't get no bigger. I had Sleazy on my shit. Like, I think it's about time you kind of wake up. Rod Wave, the names you were saying, was sending me his music before y'all knew who Rod Wave was even. 
Sleazy sending his music before you knew who Sleazy was. So I think you should just kind of take my show, my movement, my everything a little bit more seriously. And Kansas City would really be in the forefront. I see all those stars. I could have been in the back hanging with Glow. I could have met the girl and everything if I wanted to. I didn't want to stand around the club. Not a groupie. Don't need this. None of this shit. You know what I mean? So... All that power and everything, bro, it lies right here. The power is right here, and it's through you. Y'all have the power of hitting the share button. I just seen my homegirl Mia take a picture and got 245 fucking shares because they want to be everybody to be like, oh, look, she's back with her dude type shit. Like, it's insane and sick how the social media moves and how it doesn't want to move in a positive thing. If I got uh, into a fight right now, I could have 100,000 viewers and everything. If I pull up and go fight Chuck, whatever, I bet I get two or 300,000 views. If I slap a nigga on Vine, I get two or 300,000 views. I get six, 700 shares. If I run the 50s, if I do any of these things, which ain't shit, I just used to do it without a fucking camera. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't gonna put me on camera doing all these things because niggas can really press charges, call police. Y'all think these DJs ain't tied in with the police. When you think there's a reason why I kick my hands off my off these people, you niggas is real life rats. The industry is rats. Rappers are rats. The motherfucking managers be rats. They're gay. This is a gay, snitch, weirdo industry. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why they, they have power, because it's not for us. We just make the music for them. We're just the dumbasses. You know what I mean? To all my artists, fuck the DJs. Go get a venue and make the DJ play all your music all night. You ain't got the money for it? Go get an investor. You can't find an investor? Get with another nigga that raps that can pay for the shit. And put it out there. Get your shit moving, man. No shit. That's nice. That's, that's plain and simple, man. Can I see? Y'all better be smart, man. I got my shrimp and my chicken tacos. I'm about to smack right now. So I hope you enjoyed. You learned something. Said he wants to make um, Tech Nine have to talk with me. Always up to holler at Aaron. That's my nigga. I fucks with him. There's never no bad blood between me and him. It's just expectations that haven't been met. I'm out.